what was associated here. Anyway, the point I want to make is uh, I learned so much. I learned so much. I learned. Black, white, all colors, all backgrounds. What I mean, come on, man. Men, women, gay, straight, everyone deserves a shot. You know, come on, man. You know the thing. You know what I mean. You know the thing. You know what I mean. Come on, man. What I have to do is I have to continue talking about the things. That come on, man. I came down here because I remember the first bumper sticker I saw. I learned that uh, I got hairy legs that 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 that, 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 that turned blonde in the sun. And the kids used to come up and reach in the pool and rub my leg down so it was straight and then watch the hair come back up again. I learned about kids jumping on my lap. I love kids jumping on my lap. Oh, uh oh, I'm in trouble, trouble. What are we nuts? Dead, dead, dead. You know, come on, man. Give me a little break here. Dead life. Taking cocaine or not? What do you think? Huh? Come on, man. Black, white, all colors, all backgrounds. What I mean? Come on, man. Men, women, gay, straight. Everyone deserves a shot. You know, come on, man. You know the thing. You know what I mean? You know the thing. You know what I mean? Come on, man. You have a problem figuring out what you're from me or Trump, and you ain't black. Come on, man. The corn pop was a bad dude, and he ran a bunch of bad boys. I can hardly wait to meet with that guy who is the stable genius. Come on, man. I am uh, very willing to let the public judge my physical and mental filth. My physical as well as my mental fi fitness. <laughs> Kids are just as bright and just as talented as white kids. Wealthy kids. Come on, man. I mean, come on. Take a look at the record. I know a lot of weed smoke. Come on, man. Black, white, all colors, all backgrounds. What I mean. Come on, man. Men, women, gay, straight. Everyone deserves a shot. You know. Come on, man. You know the thing. You know what I mean. You know the thing. You know what I mean. Come on, man. Why the hell would I take a test? I am. I learned. I learned a lot, and I learned that, uh, I learned a lot. Anyway, uh, Bo, uh, Bo is associated here. Anyway, the point I want to make is, uh, I learned so much. I learned so much. I learned. Black, white, all colors, all backgrounds. What I mean, come on, man. Men, women, gay, straight, everyone deserves a shot. You know, come on, man. You know the thing. You know what I mean? You know the thing. You know what I mean? Come on, man. What I have to do is I have to continue talking about the things that come on, man. I came down here because I remember the first bumper sticker I saw. I learned that uh, I got hairy legs that that that, that 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 turned blonde in the sun. And the kids used to come up and reach in the pool and rub my leg down so it was straight and then watch the hair come, come back up again. So I learned about kids jumping on my lap. I love kids jumping on my lap. Oh, uh oh, I'm in trouble, trouble. What are we nuts? Dead, dead, dead. You know, come on, man. Give me a little break here. Dead life. Taking cocaine or not? What do you think? Huh? Come on, man. Black, white, all colors, all backgrounds. What I mean? Come on, man. Men, women, gay, straight. Everyone deserves a shot. You know, come on, man. You know the thing. You know what I mean? You know the thing. You know what I mean? Come on, man. You have a problem figuring out what you're from me or Trump, and you ain't black. Come on, man. The corn pop was a bad dude, and he ran a bunch of bad boys. I can hardly wait to meet with that guy who is the stable genius. Come on, man. I am uh, very willing to let the public judge my physical and mental fil my physical as well as my mental fil fitness. <laughs> Kids are just as bright and just as talented as white kids. Wealthy kids. Come on, man. I mean, come on. Take a look at the record. I know a lot of weed smoke. Come on, man. Black, white, all colors, all backgrounds. What I mean. Come on, man. Men, women, gay, straight. Everyone deserves a shot. You know. Come on, man. You know the thing. You know what I mean. You know the thing. You know what I mean. Come on, man. Why the hell would I take a test? I am. Uh, I, 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 uh, come on, man. I learned. I learned a lot, and I learned that, uh, I learned a lot. Anyway, uh, Bo, uh, Bo is associated here. Anyway, the point I want to make is, uh, I learned so much. I learned so much. I learned. Black, white, all colors, all backgrounds. What I mean? Come on, man. Men, women, gay, straight. Everyone deserves a shot. You know, come on, man. You know the thing. You know what I mean? You know the thing. You know what I mean? Come on, man. What I have to do is I have to continue talking about the things that come on, man. I came down here.
because I remember the first bumper sticker I saw. I learned that uh, I got hairy legs that 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 that, 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 that turned blonde in the sun. And the kids used to come up and reach in the pool and rub my leg down. So I was trained and then watch the hair come, come back up again. So I learned about kids jumping on my lap. I love kids jumping on my lap. Oh, uh oh, I'm in trouble, trouble. What are we nuts? Dead, dead, dead. You know, come on, man. Give me a little break here. Get a life. Taking cocaine or not? What do you think? Huh? Come on, man. Black, white, all colors, all backgrounds. What I mean? Come on, man. Men, women, gay, straight. Everyone deserves a shot. You know, come on, man. You know the thing. You know what I mean? You know the thing. You know what I mean? Come on, man. You have a problem figuring out what you're for me or Trump, and you ain't black. Come on, man. The corn pop was a bad dude, and he ran a bunch of bad boys. I can hardly wait to meet with that guy who is the stable genius. Come on, man. I am uh, very willing to let the public judge my physical and mental fit. My physical as well as my mental fi fitness. <laughs> Kids are just as bright and just as talented as white kids. Wealthy kids. Come on, man. I mean, come on. Take a look at the record. I know a lot of weed smoke. Come on, man. Black, white, all colors, all backgrounds. What I mean? Come on, man. Men, women, gay, straight. Everyone deserves a shot. You know. Come on, man. You know the thing. You know what I mean? You know the thing. You know what I mean? Come on, man. Why the hell would I take a test? I am. Uh, I, 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 uh, come on, man. I learned. I learned a lot, and I learned that, uh, I learned a lot. Anyway, uh, Bo, uh, Bo is associated here. Anyway, the point I want to make is, uh, I learned so much. I learned so much. I learned. Black, white, all colors, all backgrounds, what I mean. Come on, man. Men, women, gay, straight, everyone deserves a shot, you know. Come on, man. You know the thing. You know what I mean? You know the thing. You know what I mean? Come on, man. What I have to do is I have to continue talking about the things that come on, man. I came down here because I remember the first bumper sticker I saw. I learned that uh, I got hairy legs that that that, 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 that that turned blonde in the sun. And the kids used to come up and reach in the pool and rub my leg down. So I was trained and then watch the hair come, come back up again. So I learned about kids jumping on my lap. I love kids jumping on my lap. Oh, uh-oh, I'm in trouble, trouble. What are we nuts? Dead, dead, dead. You know, come on, man. Give me a little break here. Get a life. Taking cocaine or not? What do you think? Huh? Come on, man. Black, white, all colors, all backgrounds. What I mean? Come on, man. Men, women, gay, straight. Everyone deserves a shot. You know, come on, man. You know the thing. You know what I mean? You know the thing. You know what I mean? Come on, man. You have a problem figuring out what you're for me or Trump, and you ain't black. Come on, man. The corn pop was a bad dude, and he ran a bunch of bad boys. I can hardly wait to meet with that guy who is the stable genius. Come on, man. I am uh, very willing to let the public judge my physical and mental fil my physical as well as my mental fil fitness. <laughs> Kids are just as bright and just as talented as white kids. Wealthy kids. Come on, man. I mean, come on. Take a look at the record. I know a lot of weed smoke. Come on, man. Black, white, all colors, all backgrounds. What I mean? Come on, man. Men, women, gay, straight. Everyone deserves a shot. You know? Come on, man. You know the thing. You know what I mean? You know the thing. You know what I mean? Come on, man. Why the hell would I take a test? I am. Uh, I, 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 uh, come on, man. I learned. I learned a lot, and I learned that, uh, I learned a lot. Anyway, uh, Bo, uh, Bo is associated here. Anyway, the point I want to make is, uh, I learned so much. I learned so much. I learned. Black, white, all colors, all backgrounds, what I mean. Come on, man. Men, women, gay, straight, everyone deserves a shot, you know. Come on, man. You know the thing. You know what I mean? You know the thing. You know what I mean? Come on, man. What I have to do is I have to continue talking about the things that come on, man. I came down here because I remember the first bumper sticker I saw. I learned that uh, I got hairy legs that that, 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 that that turned blonde in the sun. And the kids used to come up and reach in the pool and rub my leg down. So I was trained and then watch the hair come, come back up again. So I learned about kids jumping on my lap. I love kids jumping on my lap. Oh, uh-oh, I'm in trouble, trouble. What are we nuts? Dead, dead, dead. You know, come on, man. Give me a little break here. Get a life. Taking cocaine or not? What do you think? Huh? Come on, man. Black, white, all colors, all backgrounds. What I 
mean, come on, man. Men, women, gay, straight, everyone deserves a shot. You know, come on, man. You know the thing. You know what I mean? You know the thing. You know what I mean? Come on, man. If you have a problem figuring out what you're for me or Trump, then you ain't black. Come on, man. The corn pop was a bad dude, and he ran a bunch of bad boys. I can hardly wait to meet with that guy who is the stable genius. Come on, man. I am uh, very willing to let the public judge my physical and mental fil my physical as well as my mental fil fitness. <laughs> Come on, man. Poor kids are just as bright and just as talented as white kids. Wealthy kids. Come on, man. I mean, come on. Take a look at the record. I know a lot of weed smoke. Come on, man. Black, white, all colors, all backgrounds. What I mean? Come on, man. Men, women, gay, straight. Everyone deserves a shot. You know. Come on, man. You know the thing. You know what I mean? You know the thing. You know what I mean? Come on, man. Why the hell would I take a test? I am, uh, I, 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 uh, come on, man. I learned, I learned a lot. And I learned that, uh, that I learned a lot. Anyway, uh, Bo, uh, Bo is associated here. Anyway, the point I want to make is, uh, I learned so much. I learned so much. I learned. Black, white, all colors, all backgrounds. What I mean? Come on, man. Men, women, gay, straight, everyone deserves a shot. You know, come on, man. You know the thing. You know what I mean? You know the thing. You know what I mean? Come on, man. What I have to do is I have to continue talking about the things that come on, man. I came down here because I remember the first bumper sticker I saw. I learned that uh, I got hairy legs that, 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 that turned blonde in the sun. And the kids used to come up and reach in the pool and rub my leg down so it was straight and then watch the hair come, come back up again. So I learned about kids jumping on my lap. I love kids jumping on my lap. Oh, uh oh, I'm in trouble, trouble. What are we nuts? Dead, dead, dead. You know, come on, man. Give me a little break here. Get a life. Taking cocaine or not? What do you think? Huh? Come on, man. Black, white, all colors, all backgrounds. What do I mean? Come on, man. Men, women, gay, straight. Everyone deserves a shot. You know, come on, man. You know the thing. You know what I mean? You know the thing. You know what I mean? Come on, man. If you have a problem figuring out what you're for me or Trump, then you ain't black. Come on, man. The corn pop was a bad dude, and he ran a bunch of bad boys. I can hardly wait to meet with that guy who is the stable genius. Come on, man. I am uh, very willing to let the public judge my... just thinking about biden before i uh before i came online they they really have propped up a senile old man in the white house they really have propped up an old man he's a glove puppet at this point fucking shame glove puppet he is he's an he's an old glove puppet Fucking poor bastard. I mean, he's not poor, but he's just lost his marbles, fam. Okay, why am I game coming up? Uh, one sec. One sec, Rick. Where is everyone? Rally the troops, as they say, Rick. Rally the troops.
There we go. We need more white old man superheroes. No. <laughs> white old man fan. Where is everyone? Where the fuck is everyone? They just ignore. Like, there's, there's going to come a point where I'm going to call it out, Rick. I'm going to be like, you know I'm streaming now. I know you've been busy chatting away your loserous chat in, in, in the Twitter. But you don't come to the stream. You fucking losers, fam. I think you're too good, fam. They're just scared of being embarrassed by what they say. People are scared about being embarrassed by me. Or embarrassing them. Me embarrassing them. In front of everyone. All the online pals, fam. They're scared, fam. They're fucking terrified. One sec, I gotta get my phone. I gotta get my phone chat. I'll be right back, Rick. Rally the troops, fam. They're scared of the thought police. Hell of a salesperson, man. But better than having a giant fat fucking mic sitting in front of you that can get knocked over. Fuck that shit. And sit back. Don't need to be right up on the right up the ass on the mic, fam. Love it. I sent out a rallying cry. Not sure if it will help. Fucking better, man. I think they didn't expect me to start the stream this early. Collab cam is live. What is this? You can collaborate. You can have multi cam now, Streamlabs. Biden, poor fellow fam. The most amount I thought I've given Biden, Rick, was just before the stream started. Just before the stream started, I was like, fuck me, man. It, it's like Kaiser says, it's elder abuse. It's elder abuse. It's like how in a mortuary uh, they have to dress up a corpse. They literally have to dress dress up a corpse, Rick, and then usher him on stage and usher him off stage. Can't even do that. The best thing about Biden is that he's not Trump. Yeah, that's it. That's all the Democrats uh, ran on. That's literally all the Democrats ran on. If you're struggling to find out whether you're for me or you're for Trump, then you ain't black. <laughs> That's all he ran on. I, I'm not Trump. That's it. Bullshit, fam. Losers. See, you have to wonder, Rick, us Brits and Europeans, we have an unbiased, impartial perspective on American politics. And, we, and we're all saying it. How you can't get more unbiased and impartial than Europeans, you know, considering our history, right? You know, they would America's always the butt of the joke, so we have a completely uncolored view of America. You, you'll find people who are who people like me who would probably lean more towards Labour here. We, we would lean more towards like Labour Party, the more s slightly left party here, but. I would still fucking hate the fuck out of Democrats in the US. So you do know it's fucking impartial, it's unbiased. Can't have a commie like Bernie win after all, he's pro-Palestine. That's a no-go, man. Establishment, man. America, whether you're, you're Democrat or Republican, always got dick ride Israel, man. Always got dick ride your interests in the Middle East. Get rid of the fucking 
fuck is everyone? Old Joey B. Old Joey B. Where the hell am I supposed to go? American overtone window is leading so far right, I swear. Overtone window. American overtone window. Leading so far right, I swear. I don't know what that is, Rick. You mean just the general overtone of American politics? Avery The Mirror Tarot Avery, okay. The Overton window is the range of policies politically acceptable to the mainstream population at a given time. Okay. Overton window. Okay. Sorry, I overtone just gave me the wrong idea. Yeah, everything's leaning right right now. Europe's fucking leaning right. America's leaning. You guys over in Sweden are leaning right now, right? You had your your Swedish election. But it's different, right? Your left would be considered right or something. So I think someone was telling me, Nick was telling me. Where is Avery? Policies for Americans is considered much more right wing for us. Okay. Interesting. Sweden greatness. Do you think Patty's okay? She acts strong, but it seemed like she was deeply distraught. Where did Melvin disappear to? The same goes for her mother, Candy. We never even got a chance to meet her mother. Did they get swallowed up into the Clarkson's vortex as well? We need to hurry, Zach. Dude, what's going on right now? Go up to the roof of the coal storage warehouse. And the bow house. Okay. Ryan says he's on the way. Nice. Yeah, we just had a general election, kicked out the social democratic government. 
I see new tweets. I see new Swedish tweets every now and again. Were you thinking about Galena too? And all the other women we've seen so far on our travels across the states? Zach, I'm right, aren't I? This is a vast country. Incredibly vast. And it's mostly composed of mountains, deserts, and farmland with small towns. We need to everyone down here. We need Baker Vector. We need to turn out like last time. Zach, you're a coffee person, right? No sugar, only milk. Yes, I'm completely with you on that one. The link is the link. link. The link. If this town has a symbol, it's got to be that bridge hanging over the bayou. Lift bridges are truly a rarity. Reminds me of Duluth, Minnesota. Remember what happened there? That man went to such great lengths to collect his victims' tons. You know, the one who would French kiss them every day as they slowly decompose. As I drove him to the station after his arrest, Tony Hope Pro Skate Premonition 2, yeah. Oh, wait. There we go. Rick Ling, pro skater. Putin going full imperialist. Gonna annex like 15% of Ukraine tomorrow. Dude, whatever to get, whatever that needs to be done to get this conflict done with, man. We've gone too long without a well, like a proper world war, man. Honestly, Rick. Considering how much everyone hates each other, we've gone a f horrendously long time. Fuck it. I'm tired of I'm tired of the energy prices going up, fam. It's a miracle we made it this far without World War Three. Yeah, we're in the age of proxy wars now. Proxy wars, fam. We've probably been in one long world war, but we just don't label it that now. War Powers Act, Rick. We're still under War Powers Act, fam. What a wonder, fam. So, what do you think of him? Yes, I'm talking about him. Boondock is the skeletal gentleman friend or foe, or does he merely exist outside the realms of either? Still too early to tell, but it's clear that he'll be the key. 
Nukes have prevented the great power conflicts. Oh, yeah, nuclear deterrence. Cute. Love it. Nuclear deterrence, greatness. But it 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 the it it shows you the state of the world we're in, right? We we only have peace because one person that hates another person is too scared to attack that person in fear of retaliation. You know what I mean? This is why. It, you know this idea, and I don't know if you're an atheist or a believer in God or stuff like that. They love to blame, you know, oh man, like, look at us inherently as a species, you know. We've been given the gift of free will, we can go bad or we can do right. You can't just give someone free will and, and, and have all good happen. There's no freedom or consequence otherwise. Look what we've done, fam. We hate each other. The only way we can live with each other is, is the fear of retaliation. Mutually saw destruction doctrine, yeah. Hmm. I, I reckon I owe you an apology for how I was acting before. Toshi, you here, fam? What's going on, Toshi? Nobody here, fam, apart from Rick. Where the doll? Where the vected? Where the baker? Where the tattoo? Where the body? I think I get what you meant now. You'll no longer be able to borrow a certain someone's power. Now well, those words woke me up. I need to get myself together or I'll sink. And you saved me. <laughs> so, uh... Toshi thanks. has arisen. They thought I'd start at 12.30. But no, it's me, Dio. And I started at 12, motherfucker. Bruh, keep slacking. Let me share the streams. Just keep spamming them until they join. The now, this is a surprise, Zach. I, I literally saw people in a in, in, in bunch of Twitter chats banging on about this country and the anime and blah blah blah, this crap and other crap. And they're just fucking sitting there, dulling like a fried egg in a fucking chair, fam. Boiled egg. The more rigid of the folk, the more rigid folk are like a boiled egg in a chair. Respectable. Respectable like a boiled chair. They maintain their shape. But then the more pathetic of the folk, Friday slumped, sliding down with the grease running out the back of the fucking chair. Pathetic. Can you imagine anything more pathetic than a fried egg in a chair? A freshly fried egg with fucking oil on it. It's just slinking into a gloop of mess at the bottom corner of a fucking chair. That's how I see people when I see that I post and they don't fucking come fam. Some people I've known for years, they don't even want to interact. They, they just barely interact on Twitter. They just barely interact with what I'm doing on Twitter. But opportunity like this, back and forth about anything you want, fam. But nah, they'd rather go to safe spaces where they're not allowed to say anything even slightly provocative, right? They'd rather be there because they think it's the hip and happening place to be, man. This guy's got fucking 200 viewers and he's screaming at a fucking screen, watching something. The same canned reaction to everything. They'd rather be there in a fake fucking bullshit fucking parade. You know what I mean? All good Toshi talking about the great world we live in with more. Yeah. Can a human being really turn themselves around this quickly? Hey, come on, don't say that. I was drunk, you know. People, man, I don't know. I don't understand it with people. I don't understand. And this is why all the, 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 the mentally all are drawn towards me. They're the people who, are the, who aren't mental. They're the sane ones. They're the sane ones, fam. We, people like to label them autistic, mentally ill, but nah. They are the sane ones, fam. Just never forget. I lost my baby girl, my wife. Then my father-in-law, I, I didn't know what to do. Blaming it all on someone else was the only way I knew how to cope. All right? Bill Hicks. What are you here for, anyway? Thought you already investigated this place. We got working like to class get your man that's going to take over this roof. dynasty. Right up to that hideous sign there. Hideous sign. <laughs> It's hilarious, all these Russians are fleeing the country. They want to get shipped off to Ukraine. Yeah, they've, they've done that. It's conscription thing, right? Reserve, reserve conscription or some shit. <laughs> Fuck.
fuck man russia russia showboats so much like i'm not for or against uk and russia but russian showboating is a thing when it comes to stepping up <laughs> oh is that all i don't blame him i don't blame him why would you want to get involved in older men's wars why would you three four old men's wars fuck it well go on ahead you got I know put, you're a genius agent. You got Putin showboat and firing off uh, sniper rifle. Heavy artillery fucking sniper rifle. It's like literally pictures of him v doing visits and then firing off saying, why don't he why don't he step up? Why don't Putin step up to fight? You know? Everyone laughed at uh, uh Lebed not Lebedev. <laughs> Think of a video game. Whoever the Zebedee dev, whoever the fuck the Ukraine guy is, stepping up and going to the front lines. Everyone's laughing at that guy. He was a meme. What about Putin? Why not put Putin getting fucking a camouflage, military garb, fucking step up? They call it a mobilization of reserves, but there 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 are many reports of them just grabbing people off the street, sentencing anti-war protesters to conscription. For yikes, yikes! There were four viewers here. There's only two now. What's going on? They silent judgment. They come in for a bit, silently judge you like a bunch of fucking degenerate losers that does belong in re-education camps. But they're not there. They're living life. These people are too fucking free. I'm telling you, weebs are too fucking free. They're too entitled. They're too free. They need to be sent to re-education camps. If you need to go up there, then by all means. Danny, I'm not a genius. Fuck. I'm a complete failure. I never even gave a single thought to P.J. Clarkson's first daughter. I was practically oblivious the entire time. I never considered the possibility that Lena had a child either. And that misstep cost us many sacrifices. But you know all about it now, right? Then just move on. You figured out that it was Galena who murdered Lise. Toshi, where you at, fam? Toshi, fam? You gotta bring up them topics. You gotta bring up your own topics, fam. Not just Machine Gun Kelly videos, fam. And that Galena was being manipulated by Lena. You proved that my treasure wasn't evil after all. I hear sharing links to peeps spamming them. Do it, man. Do it. Putin going to visit wounded soldiers in hospital. Turns out there are actors that have been seen before on other pictures of Putin. Fuck me. Looks like the full might of America really is behind Ukraine at the moment. Man. It's the information war. The the physical war is just as sorry. The information war is just as important as the the ground war. It may have cost us a lot of sacrifices, but that still makes you a genius agent. And that's how I know I can trust you. Now I don't care if you're FBI. I'm still gonna come clean and say it. Whoever killed my treasure is gonna pay. That summary we crap. You ain't miss much. You were here pretty much for most of it, Toshi. This episode, nothing much has happened. I want to track him down, then kill him with my own hands. He's the only guy left in charge of the, the Clarkson family now. These rich southern folk. But I'm a Clarkson too. So I made up my mind. All Clarkson's got a job to do. Oh, like before you do it, nothing, nothing happened. I, I literally just started like 15 minutes ago. This flashback is set in 2005. Which one is it? Future stuff is set in 2019 or something. Patricia must be in the boathouse we saw in that photograph. Along with Melvin and Candy, the goddess of fertility. We're still looking for Melvin, the black co cop. What I saw at Step Alexis's dead. restaurant. Not only was my mind still reeling, but the oracle was also rather vague. But so what, Zach? 
We just need to find the same boathouse that we saw in that picture. There's got to be another singularity inside it. You could have fooled me. Thought this game was set. That, that's the boat. <laughs> it's right Honestly, where the photograph was taken. <laughs> it's a double A game. But I have no idea how we're supposed Made to. Made very on a cheap it. budget, but it's it's the eccentricity of the the creator and the vision of the creator, which that's... is why these games do so well. It looks like we have no choice but to head back to the starting line. <laughs> Let's go and see the one who fired the pistol at heaven. He should be able to transport us straight to that boathouse. The midget. Remember, his love for justice is so strong that he chased a poacher's boat all the way up the bayou. I'm sure he'll be happy to help us. Zack, stop and just imagine it for a moment. Chuck's face. Once he hears that poacher's boat is actually a shrine housing the goddess of fertility. <laughs> we already saw her in the intro. She's a fat bloated on life support. What's this? Least forever. Oh shit. Who left this message for her? Zach, you know what? I forgot all about our ten foot giant. We still have a lot of work left to do in this town. <laughs> ten foot giant. <laughs> Love it. Love it. Where the buddy at, fam? Where my peeps at? I know Ryan's coming. That's good. Toshi here, Rick here. We need more. This is unacceptable, fam. Dude, I actually talk with man about things on my streams. And people complain, ah, oh, man, I don't wanna, I don't wanna go to a stream where exactly. fucking the biggest no one man we've seen in town from. thus far. Yeah, conscript them, Rick. Yep, we need to conscript them. Let's talk to him just in case. I just want people, to, I want to encourage people to be social. Bad enough that they're anti-social in real life. It's tragic that they're so anti-social online. It's shook, fam. Hello there, Avery. I need your help. Would you mind raising your arms up high like this for me? Raise my arms? Like this? Thank you. That's perfect. We have to liberate Moin from the Ukrainian neo-Nazi. Neo-Nazis as Putin. <laughs> it appears that even with your height, you'd have a tough time reaching a spot up that high. Ah. Uh -huh. Love, Lise. Yup. <laughs> but Lise got cold. Lise turned white. My, my poison light. Zelensky is Jewish. No Jokes on Putin. Oh my days, is he? Zelensky is Jewish. <laughs> Avery, I understand how you feel. Yeah. Well, I was calling him Zebedee just earlier. <laughs> he's so he's such a imm imm immemorable person. I'm sure that Lise does too. R really? <laughs> oh yes, I guarantee it. Right now, I'm trying to eliminate the cause of her death. But I need your assistance. If you ever see a man who looks taller and stronger than you, I want you to let me know. I will. You bet I will. <laughs> yeah, bastard. The guy in the friend zone never got a chance, fam. To confess his love, fam. Up in Chuck's airboat. Maybe Jackie. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Jackie, where is she? Where is she? Poor, you, poor bastard. You're right, my elder abuse. Brian. He he is a senile old man that they've propped up in the White House, Ryan. Glove puppet, I was saying. He's a glove puppet now. Oh, schmuck is a 
Glas Pappe. chose a dragonfly for their family crest. In some European countries, dragonflies are called devil's needles, and folklore suggests that they fly around sewing up the mouths of children who don't do as they're told. In Japan, some samurai helmets are also shaped like dragonflies. There, dragonflies are seen as beneficial insects who march valiantly ahead, preying on the pests that devour crops. In other words, dragonflies is symbolize opposite things, this rabbit depending dog. on whether Gee, you're in the east or the west. Dog. Why did the Clarks choose day. this insect now to be their symbol? I can't now. help but feel like it's something deeper than the cliched image of dragonflies. As oh, fuck off. Why is my mother? Why is this motherfucker still drunk? Review Ryan, my man, the Joe Biden we need. Don't deserve. <laughs> no. Learn that shit. Learn that shit. Proper and evil as fuck. Look at interviews of Biden ten years ago. Man was sh yeah, yeah, Rick. He was. And even before then, he was a proper sharp fellow. Now it's fucking just bumbling idi idiot, man. Kind of tragic and pathetic seeing that guy up. Dude, how do I sober up, man? I'm sorry, but this is fucking ridiculous. Right? No sugar, only milk. Yes, I'm completely with you on that one. Oh, hell no. Nah. Oxide, fuck me. chose a dragonfly for their family crest. In some European countries, dragonflies are called devil's needles. You know America's are stupid if you need Biden to get rid of a clown like Trump. They up if this town has a symbol, it's got to be that bridge hanging over the Man's Biden. Man's would for the hand up Biden's rare. ass. Reminds me of Duluth, Minnesota. Glove Remember what happened there? Either. That man went to such great lengths to collect his victims. You know, the one who would French kiss them every day as they slowly...
to lead bank intellectual bankruptcy. Yeah. Play pendejos fam. Pendejos fam. Pendejos. <laughs> I see. Okay, nice, nice. How did Trump become more important than Jesus for evangelical Christians? He's a necessary evil. That's what I think. They see him as a necessary evil that supports their their agendas. It's like a symbiotic relationship. He don't he don't actually care. He's not really a Christian. He just likes to whip them up and rile them up. They both decried Israel. Democrats, Republicans, you, you you have to wonder what's going on there when both Democrats and Republicans have historically dick-ridden Israel. That's always America. Evangelicals, Protestants, Mormons are all fake, yeah. Hello, Chuck. The time has finally come to catch that poacher's boat you spoke of. Oh, now he wants to catch the boat. Thought you FBI boys don't chase down boats. Ain't that what you said? This guy's like the white, um... Who's that midget black actor, man? The one who, who stars with The Rock all the time. Comedian's name. Who's that black comedian? He's fucking short as anything, but somehow he keeps making films. Who's that? You guys know. Kevin Hart. That's it. This guy's like the white Kevin Hart. <laughs> Unless Kevin it's a Hart. terrorist boat that plans to overthrow our country, right? You're exactly right, Chuck. I discovered that boat does contain perpetrators who are potentially Philly, capable yeah, oh, of overthrowing our country. Uh, perpetrators who are deeply connected to a new drug called San Rouge. And you expect me to help you? Yes, I need your help. Damn, Philly. Philly greatness. I see you got the balls to match just how big whoa, a goddamn whoa, whoa. prick you he are. He should have been a cameo in uh, the Adam Sandler film we watched, right? The Adam Sandler um, Philly film we watched, right? <laughs> the who's who of, of Philly or sports that turned up in that film. Shocked Kevin Hart didn't. Baldus Maximus Gothicus Cincinnatus Cuncator Augustus Caesar Basilius Dominus Dr Draconarius. <laughs> That's too much, even for me. That's too much, even for me. Cincinnatus, is that even a real fucking name? Like Cincinnati fam. Poachers can fuck with my form all they want, but the moment drugs get involved, all of a sudden you're raring to go. Guess what? I don't give a shit. Dude, why the fuck did this dick guy look like Wayne Rooney? I can't solve this case without your help, Chuck. Right, I'm, I'm gonna pause on his face and I'm gonna show you Wayne Rooney, guys. I'm gonna show you Wayne Rooney. If you're angry about how I acted earlier, then please allow me. I'm gonna bring up Wayne Rooney, I don't care. I'm gonna show you how uncanny the resemblance is. Not recent Wayne Rooney pick, but um, I 
I'd say... Wayne Rooney. Yeah, this is a good one. It's not, not clear, but it's the closest one I can think of. Hold on. All right, I'm going to wait till his face comes back up on screen, and then I'll show you guys. Cincinnatus was a retired Roman statesman who was appointed dictator to fight off a barbarian invasion. The famous who then famously gave up his powers and returned to his farm. Dude, that's like fucking uh, Thanos. They must have based uh, Thanos on Cincinnatus, right? I don't want no apology. Then how can I get you to trust me? You really don't know when to shut up, do ya? Kevin Hart ain't known for his b-ball skills. No, I mean, like, as a celebrity cameo, right? Only sports he's known for is football since... For... Uh, he's known for his... For his football... Oh, so he wouldn't have made sense, I guess, okay. Football since he charged onto the field drunk when he won the Super Bowl. Okay. <laughs> Did he own a Bengali tiger? Bengal tiger. Bojo referenced him in a resignation speech, hinting that he might be back. Just like Cincinnati's ah, so pretentious, fam. Caught in historical figures. Greater men than him. Hmm. As you can see, I'm busy here. So if you're done harassing me, then... Chuck, that was amazing. Absolutely incredible. Fantastic. How did you do that? Uh, thanks? I don't know. Bojo's done. He's done. He's he's too unpopular. He ain't like Trump. He ain't like Trump where it was so close. Like the election was kind of close. Bojo's done. He ain't coming back. The answer lies in his physical advantage. That's it, Zach. Your stance when you toss makes all the difference. I can't get over how beautiful his stance was. Just what am I missing? You like skipping stones? Kaiser says he's touching pavement in response to rallying cry. Kaiser is the touching pavement kind of guy. If he touches grass, he's gonna set on fire. He's gonna touch concrete, fam, or a brick. He's gonna get a brick in his hand. You know, I always trust a man who knows how to skip good. See, the key to skipping is how close your arm is to the water when you throw. You also need accurate speed, an accurate wrist snap, and accurate timing when you let go. That's why short folk who stay low to the ground and keep a low profile like me can skip better. And that's how I reckon I can trust a man who knows what skipping's all about. Got it? If you want my help, you gotta impress me with your skipping. Then I'll lend you my boat. <sighs> Game's gotta force you to engage with its side quests. It's mini stuff because there's absence of anything else to do. All right, let me see. We've got a score of five points. Okay. All right, let me bring up his face. All right, look at this guy. Yeah, let me let me show you. Look, look at his face, guys. Pay attention, motherfuckers. Pay attention. Um, let me just bring it in. Uh, p -p 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 image. <laughs> Wait. Where is it? Uh, where did I save it? There he is. Yeah. Wayne Rooney from, well, formerly of Man United. <laughs> Don't they look alike? Where the chat gone, man? Fuck me, come on. Rick Ryan, Toshi. You guys might not know who this footballer is. White man looks like white man. <laughs> greatness, greatness, greatness. Wayne Rooney, yeah, Wayne Rooney, fam. This is who exactly who he looks like. Yep. 
without the nose hairs. Without the fucking nose hairs. One roll. now i don't know what team he's a coach for but yeah hot damn Woo -wee! you're a natural that was flawless skipping all right really oh yeah you got talent boy and you you're talent, boy. Too. well i did have a great teacher that's what helped me to stay low win rune win rune <laughs> yep that's the key Gotta keep low profile. It's like a midget Wayne Rooney fan. Folks can learn a lot about life from stone skipping. Feller's gotta stay humble. Keep himself from getting all arrogant. Know what I mean? Okay, maestro. I trust you now. I'll take you into the swamp or wherever the hell else you wanna go. Wanna shove off now? Yeah, let's leave at once. Gotta make hay while the sun shines. Gotta make day. Gotta make hay while the sun shines. Let's head over to my boat. Follow me, maestro. Half the Premier League's clubs are owned by Saudis at this point. Yeah. Saudis uh, getting into gaming. Saudis are getting into the football scene. Uh, sorry, they're getting into the PGA golf scene. They're starting their own their own golf um, um, tournament now. Forgot what it's called. But they're snatching PGA golf players from America. They must have offered them fucking crazy money. Fuck it, money talks, fam. Can't moralize when it comes to capitalism. If you're under a capitalist system, you can't fucking sit there moralizing. Like these wet conservatives who complain about Chinese money, Saudi money. You can't. You can't. It, conservatives all have a fucking price. But they sit there moralizing. Oh, I'm not gonna take Chinese money. Bruh, money talks, fam. Everyone's got a price. PLA, I think they call it, yeah. Dude, four reviews ain't good enough. Like, I don't mean to belittle you guys that are my, like, my, my hardcore guys that are here. We need to get them at seven, eight, all that greatness. They got offered huge Looks like a huge sponsorship because I was left time, in the PTA that. tour. Hates them now. Let's come back. You're right there, my fan. Let's go. Peeps gone tr trickling, fam. Yeah. Inshallah, fam. We gotta go round a bit to get to your boat house. It ain't the safest route out there. So just be ready. Zach, this is exhilarating. It's like an amusement park ride, only better. <laughs> they on the way. They on the way. Hold on tight now, maestro. This is maestro, not maestro. This is yet another reminder about just how vast and varied our homeland of America is. America, America. It's gonna be terrible. Oh god, the aiming is so bad in this.
Oh, he's like a lion. Where's my reticle? Dude, where's my, where's my reticle gone? I'm supposed to have a aiming reticle. Oh, you got that ain't about reflexes. Me, this, this game, everything is janky about this game. My circle disappeared. There was no fucking circle, fam. See, I took, but now you all. My circle disappeared. <laughs> yeah, hey, go, yeah. Maestro. Ready to. I knew you. Well, then, let's go catch those assholes. Come on, Maestro. Stop saying Maestro. It's Maestro, fam. If there is a god, he did us all a favor by sending Ian on floor. Sending wait, who? Sorry, I'm gonna fucking focus on this. Dude, my gun takes like a gazillion years to fire. I oh, can't, this this mini game is too janky. Yeah. a point black shot but I'm First go, silver. Little, just a little bit away from. This the is gold. as far as I can take you. You're gonna have to walk, Mir. Florida, the cesspool of American politics, and home to Trump. Here. Yeah. Thanks, Chuck. Hey, you hear that wind a howling? That there's a storm coming. You better watch yourself out there. You hear? You better, you better watch yourself out, out there. You hear? <laughs> oh yeah. Some folks don't usually come round this end too much. The folks don't usually come round this end. So be careful. You got a weapon? Just this give me a holler if you need me to come get you. And we tried rich racist people can't forge those. <laughs> I do always trust a good skipper from the bottom of my heart. From the bottom of my heart. I appreciate all your help. I 
Nice. Francis York Morgan. What a name. Yeah, great name. Great name. And is well, your your name real name is Zach, but the York is your personality, your disassociative personality. Zach. A deadly premonition. Dude, he said the name. How do you feel about this one? That's the first time he said Honestly, the name. Honestly, I'm torn. Yes. I know the truth that awaits us here isn't one we want to accept. A deadly premonition. But we have to keep marching ahead. That's the first time since the first. We're FBI said that special first agents. Game. He remember. said the title. The United States Department of Justice has authorized us to deliver justice in their name. You know, sometimes I get to thinking. Why did I ever decide to work in the justice sector? Justice. I'm prepared to bring justice. <laughs> oh god. Now this is feeling like first game. the drunk bullshit. Drunk fam, it's drunk gaming, it's so fucking shit. Snap! <sighs> Why is there even a drunk stat in the game? Why is there a drunk stat in this fucking game? States welcome. It really is. Why is it doing two? It never does two damage, fam. Gameplay on any of you guys. It's so janky, man. It's so bad. Need to finish up something, upload it for school. So, probably only gonna hang for another 10 15. Alright, no, that's right. I have. It's not because the, the time goes so slowly in this game. 
he needs cigarettes to fast forward time. I don't know how long it takes. bad and them not them deadly fems when arty way fem maths yet me that ride home would be deadly but help the homework one's gonna go complain to swear <laughs> I, I, I feel bad for complain to swear they don't give him a budget so there's nothing he can do he only directs it other people smart people than him are supposed to be making this game good but this long this bullet should be doing mega impact explosive damage first the story is on the level of the first like just below the gameplay is so bad it's so bad and my character is just drunk perpetually drunk it's, it's, it doesn't even seem to be diminishing this is gonna be a nightmare for bosses
just gonna run past. Sober up somehow. I don't. I don't know how I'm supposed to. I'm just gonna run past her. Just gonna run past her. Said I overdid Zach, it. we've reached the Got final stage. Yeah. Okay. Um, hello, UFF 14 addicted cunts, wasting your only life in some fantasy land with fellow neurodivergent degen peeps. Dude, the same 14 fam. What is more in the alignment? Lawfully neutral. I'm chaotic neutral. I would say I'm cha chaotic neutral if there's even a thing. Um, Dullness Maximus Gothicus Cincinnati, wait, Cincinnatus, Cancator, Augustus Caesar, Basilius, Dominus, Draconarius. Yeah, it's too much, it's too much. Dullness Maximus, Lucius, Calum, Cornelius, Prime, Swan. Done. Show us the chaos. <laughs> Are you prepared for the truth? I don't align with left or right, but I do have extreme views. Extreme, extreme, very extreme views. <laughs> You've never been nice to people mentally or peeps, Kaiser. <laughs> or what you think has been nice probably, probably hasn't been perceived as nice from them, so. from the intro. Americans, Americans. I love you. I'll do anything for you. I'll make your wish come true. Are you kidding me? Melvin's a nutcase. <laughs> the black dude's a nutcase. What the fuck? You stand before the goddess. Mind your manners. Bruh, I didn't want to believe it, but fuck me. Sorry, but I don't worship that deity. You always were a rude one. I didn't want to believe the one black dude in town was like, just a cultist. Patty, everything's all right now. Just... Come over to me. She can't hear you, York. Patricia's already in a trance. Outside voices can't reach her. You didn't. Saint Rouge? Now what kind of fool do you take me for? She's the consecrated virgin, and virgins need to be pure. She won't be able to serve the goddess if she gets all corrupted. Now will she? 
And besides, she's got a resistance to the stuff. Might be due nah, to the some blood she inherited this from drug, her parents. This drug, or this drug, this time that fucking nuts. Designed that way on purpose. Not that it matters now, cause she's about to die. One sec, I'll read back this chat. Sec. I wouldn't do that if I were you, York. Or did you forget who gave you Mr. Alligator to begin with? You think I'd hand you a weapon without any sort of safeguard in it? This is straight out of a bad C movie, Melvin. Call it what you want, York. But I'm the main character here, and you already played your part. Now that Candy's become the goddess, I will take her once more and claim my seat as the king who rules this town. Yes, I will be the one who reveals the Clarkson's legacy. This is insane. Power isn't important to, to you, this. Melvin. All you care about is your loving family, remember? It's the, the man time. who won the heart of the most beautiful girl in the world, <laughs> Melvin Woods. We can still stop this from happening. Just need to wake up, Melvin. <laughs> York, you really are a second rate man. You're incapable of understanding how other folks feel. Lena was the one I loved. You want me? Candy's merely the symbol we use to restore the Clarkson's glory. The goddess of fertility is just an idol designed to guide our people down the proper path. I devoted everything I had to Lena. Hey, Patricia! Ah. I was obsessed with Lena ever since I was a kid. She lived in a big mansion and also had skin as white as snow. All I ever wanted they was sense to be just like muscular. Him. My friends were too close minded to they, understand. They didn't say too muscular. Don't let the white man brainwash you, they said. But race was never a part of it for me. She was always far above that shit. A higher being who surpassed it all. To trans people are higher beings, yeah. time I grew She's up, above race. She trans already people are beings, yeah. And abandoned her home. At first, I was so this shocked. This is so fucking weird. Black it man like worshipped a trans woman. She was above I ever got the black, white, to black race division. When I finally got a chance to meet her face to face, <sighs> everything changed. I loved her female form with all my heart. The moment I saw her again, she completely possessed my soul. Hey, York, you know how they say God created man in his own image? That's what Lena is. She's what? God's finest creation. The perfection of the human race. <laughs> glad he's a villain. I'm glad he's a villain. She a wasn't perfect, perfect in any way, Melvin. She was just another criminal who happened to be a bit smarter than most. <laughs> the trans call with him. You never understand. Anywho, I decided to follow her plan. And so I became the one who supported her from the shadows. Working to fulfill her dream of restoring the Clarkson's glory. Subservient black man. Candy, what is going on, man? Married her and kept giving her Saint Rouge whenever Lena told me to. Then, you know what happened? About one year ago, we finally saw a sign. A sign of the birth of the goddess of fertility. You mean she started growing horribly obese? <laughs> Eight years. It fell long but also short somehow. I knew from the start that much blood would be spilled, but I had no other choice. It was the only way for me to make my beloved angel need me. So you murdered Galena too? Yeah, that didn't exactly go according to plan. Galena was supposed to kill Lisa, and Lena was supposed to take Patricia's life. Then Lena and Galena were supposed to kill PJ and end their own lives. Filicide, patricide, and suicide. These three types of sacrifice were gonna complete the blood purge. But then you came to Tame. You're such a pest, York. I loathe every fabric of your being. Always buzzing around us like a gnat, trying to upset our faith. 
but no more. I'm going to stop you right here. Sacrifice so the black man did do complete Leonard's this plan time. once and for all. One sec, guys. I'll read back the chat. This is one of those cutscenes that doesn't pause between dialogue. There may have been some hiccups in the plan, but the result won't change. After all, I'm her daddy. In the end, the goddess of fertility and her king will be the only ones left. We'll find a way to make do on our own. Hey, yo. Haven't you been wondering why I'm talking so much about myself? Because this is the last stage of the game? And nope, I've just been waiting for this. The bud. Soon, she'll be reborn. And the goddess of fertility will be among us. It all ends here! Gains that. Oh, nice. Uh. Patty, are you all right? Uh. Die. Bloody hell is happening. <sighs> Don't tell me you go fucking kill her by getting struck by lightning. Are oh, we still there? King. Yeah, I didn't expect that, Toshi. I'll read back your chat. I just need to watch this cutscene. Very rare. One of the rare cutscenes. Shit! No! Stop, goddammit! Get away from her! Daddy! Expect this twist. Give me strength. Dude, this is a long cutscene. I swear you don't usually do cutscenes this long. 
Daddy? You saved me? But why? You kept saying you were gonna kill me. You should have let it happen. Just leave me here and run away with Mama. This game does this. Don't the save me. Just, the camera just bugs out. Just go with Mama. <laughs> Run away, COG! Daddy! Unless this is the camera. <laughs> I'm sorry, COG. How could I ever think about killing such a beautiful miracle? I ain't right. In the head. Forgive me. Daddy, drugs, it's not your drugs. fault. They just tricked you. It's all because of my cursed blood. No. Your blood ain't cursed. It doesn't matter where you came from. <laughs> they they you're have you. no budget for animation, so, so they put the camera right outside the bedding. You only inherited the good things <laughs> from your parents. And I should know. I, I'm gonna, I don't know if I should tweet swear. Right. I'm your daddy. That's right, if you're gonna do it. Just trust me. Do it a little bit better than this, fam. <laughs> Daddy! God damn it. It's just the camera just stuck outside the burning. Run! They had no budget. Just, uh, they had they had no, no animation budget, so they did this. I can't leave you here! <laughs> Is that Daddy, door gonna open and someone's wrong? gonna come out? like a creative fucking decision is this meant to be artistic choice or something it's fucking bugged the minute the camera went outside the burning heart fucking knew it i didn't even save don't know where my last manual save is racist game just breed breeds rat like behavior Melvin would be a psycho, flexible, and rigid one tracks, but you want also no sense of humor. Isaac. <laughs> Isaac. More bop at his head to the music. What is it with the white guys in NG? I don't know. White guys love Neo Genesis Evangelion. Can't find Isaac sexier today. I like to stick at his face. Yeah, worries. Read chat, cutscene, end. I have no idea what the fuck is going on anymore. Dude, I don't know what's going on. This game is so janky that sometimes I think a glitch is a is a is a creative choice, and then sometimes I think, a, and then a creative choice turns out to be a glitch. The fuck! This is what happens when you don't have insurance, guys. I just fucking die already. Yup, Kaiser knows rape. Normal for Americans. Should relate. Indeed, lazy cutscene. Yeah. Bugged out. The, the cutscene lasted so long, the game couldn't handle it. Just fucking bugged it out, looping. Well, let's see. Let's see if it still loops or if I can get. 
dude, what the fuck is going on with this game, man? Like, I hate when a game that is so good and then they fuck it up at the end. It was like last story. Everything was good and they fucked it all up towards the end, man. These glitches are like are unforgivable, man. Go on! Hurry! Oh, okay, I gotta reset this game. I hope there's an autosave. I really fucking hope there's an autosave. Fucking hope there's an autosave. Fuck. Goodness sake, just when everything's going good and I can just say bye bye to this game. On a high, just be like, yeah, nice ending to the story. They fucking throw this crap at you, fam. PC gaming, am I right? PC gaming. They didn't optimize this shit. Motherfuckers. Progress lost. Nah, maybe there's an autosave. I think there's an autosave. Yeah, chaotic, chaotic neutral character is an individualist who follows their own heart and generally shirks rules and traditions. Although chaotic neutral characters promote the ideals of freedom, it is their own freedom that comes first. Good and evil come second to the need to be free. Okay. Chaotic neutral. Chaotic neutral sounds like a liberal, honestly. Chaotic neutral sounds... I'm not liberal. Nah, I'm not liberal. Please let there be auto save. Oh, there is. This I don't think this will penalize me too much. But the problem with this game is you there's no way of getting out of a glitch. So there's a likelihood, guys, that this cutscene will glitch there again. And if it does, the game's broken and I can't progress. I'll try skipping the cutscenes. Yep, I got auto save right there. Skip through it. Nah, I can skip him. I can skip him. Daddy, there we go. You saved me. But why? You kept saying you were gonna kill me. <laughs> You shouldn't let it happen! Just leave me here and run away with Mama! Don't save me! Daddy! How can you do it? Thank God. Are you alright? Agent York! Save my daddy! Nah, us Pakistanis don't don't say mama. <laughs> Get out of here! Yo, take my CLG and run! No! I can't leave both of you here! Just go! No! I'm not leaving! <laughs> no! <laughs> no! <laughs> I sinned. I, I can't come back to this world. We have to say goodbye here. I'll take your mama with me. It's time for you to start a new life, sweetie. One where you won't be shackled to your destiny. York. I've confessed my sins. Yeah, I should end the Game of Thrones. Yeah. I'm gonna die here. I know this isn't how you wanted things to go down. But she's innocent. My CLG is pure. Please. Just take her and get out of here. No. No. I'm staying with you. <laughs> oh my god, guys. This is why we don't get along with no one, guys. <laughs> my daughter's in. Because this is your, your idea of affection. Now. York. Let's go, Patty. No! Let me go! <laughs> Just to get Daddy! Your body. Mama! No! <laughs> Let's talk about putting out fires, yep. <laughs> oh. I'm sorry, CLG. I've been a horrible father. Even 
before we ever met. I was always heading down. It, it's the nickname for his door. Nickname is it for his door. But I finally understand it now. I love my family from the bottom of my heart. Both you and your mama. Put Shakespeare to shame. Shit. Me too. I love you with all my heart, Daddy. The anime. The anime look of resolve. I'm sorry. Candy. Americans from fat and bloated blood burning up dying here Lena black dude Sub subservient black dude fell in love with the trans screwed it all up again the trans ma um, plans been woman. ruined I'm sorry where the babe incestuous Died baby with a sister fam what a fucked up story I could never do anything right Really? So it's all okay? Oh. Good. Just hold on then. Candy and I will be right I, there. I did not expect Melvin to be so fucked in the head. He was the, the guy you worst father. Graced with the sweetest daughter. Life can be a bitch sometimes. <laughs> But it wasn't all bad. Interesting. <laughs> he went out like his old self. Do you dream about being black? Grateful, fam. I'm not like Michael Jackson, who dreamed of being white. Oh, yeah, Kamala Harris' speech. Saw that. What was the context of that speech, Kaiser? Like, I only saw the clip. What was the context? Katrina brought that rain to us. husband and a die with no offspring really they're not they don't, they don't have kids nice completion days past 10 enemies 47 continues zero nice the episode is over Wasted his life with a camel. <laughs> I just love the look of glistening green grass. You know the green I'm talking about. <laughs> Moist with sprinkler water, reflecting the yeah, that was Forest Kaiser, the villain from the first game. Louisiana's grass is in a class of its own. 
just picture it on a clear summer day. A cold beer in one hand, gazing out from your porch onto the garden. You're so proud. I have no idea who's talking. Doesn't get much better than this. That's how you feel. A well-kept garden and a cold beer? The ultimate combination. Dalmatian dog went to forest, yep. That's what I was thinking, that dog that The willy. The dog is in it. It's got, it's got a bit, a bit of a nerve, nerve to it. It, it doesn't, doesn't matter how many times you cut it down. It'll always keep coming back and turn, turn your eyes away for a bit. <laughs> and, that's and that's when it'll really sprout up. Up, up until last week, your garden was perfect. What is this dialogue right now? This is Swery going like nuts. But you Off his head. Swery Swery is on the same route San Rouge himself. What it's become. That's why people work so hard Random monologue about cutting like grass. Ordeal, been this is why he's a genius. He doesn't get the budget to make a good game. But man, he's a fucking genius. No, it's not glitch. It's not glitch. This is what I mean. You don't know if glitch is a creative choice or the creative choice is the glitch. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Forest Kaisen. Yeah, it's Forest Kaiser speaking about. Yeah, he's a planting. Yeah, he's a gardener. Yeah. Nothing but wasted efforts. You following me here? Just be honest with yourself. Be honest, Francis Zach Morgan. Damn, Toshi on the ball today. Toshi on the ball today. They changed the voice actor. Maybe that's why. Oh, Zach. So we meet again. Such a touching reunion. Like a little boy who was given up for adoption, finally reuniting with his true parents. Uh, look, even little Willie here is beside himself with joy. Kaysen! Ah! Oh, dear. <laughs> Damn it! Yeah, Rick. I'm gonna kill you! This is the villain from the first game. I think I think he's having like it's like a fever dream. <laughs> hey, let her go! What the hell's gotten into you? <laughs> I think the red, the red um, the drug has got to him as well. Why is that dude doing nothing? There we go. Jeez, are you okay? <coughs> yeah. This is how Dull Dax in real life find his, find his inner zombie doctor spirit. <sighs> that should do it. <sighs> well, no turning back now. I think he's been, he's been exposed so much on his cases to the red seeds that it's f fucked him up. It's fucked him up. How should we clean this but up? He's also dying as well. He's terminal, terminally ill. I'm searching the room. Twenty nineteen, October thirteen, Halloween ends. Yeah, can't wait for. This room is pure insanity, but I can't let it shake me. Why did you come here, Aaliyah? Remember the real reason you decided to investigate Morgan's house in the first place. We came here to find a missing girl. Patricia Clarkson isn't here, and he's done nothing except narrowly skirt the thin line of legality in all the right ways. The man of Quinn's body parts. I think because uh, he's fucked in the head, he's been trying to figure out some missing, missing link between the two cases. But you can't trust, you can't trust his men, like, like, frame of mind right now. He's so abnormal. How can there not be a single shred of evidence against him? 
Come on, Agent Jones. I know you're hiding something. Uh, what are you talking about? You've been watching him for four and a half years, haven't you? Can you really stand here and tell me that you never saw a single one of the strange signs I'm picking up on now? Uh, what signs? Deadly premonitions. Preparations for kidnapping or terrorist activities. Sexual depravity, violent tendencies, self-mutilation, or even just contacting a specific person periodically. <laughs> Putting the pieces together, yeah, that's all the case. Nope, nada. He doesn't fit any of that. You think I'd really ignore something that obvious? I may be a schlub, but I'm still an FBI agent. Then why didn't you do anything about this room? Or did you merely choose to ignore his abnormal proclivities? You want to know what I did? I did my damn job! End of story! I was outside the entire time. How do you expect me to notice a room like this from out there? It's as simple as that. At least it was, until you dragged me into this whole mess. Don't blame me just because your big investigation ended up leading nowhere. Then tell me the truth. After seeing this room, can you really say that man is in his right mind? He kept this room a total secret from you for over four and a half years. No normal human is capable of such a feat. Only a true genius. Or a true monster. The monster fam. Monster. Greatness. Can you really guarantee that he won't try anything we if we just let him go like this, fam. If you want to do wacky and eccentric, do it. But fucking put it in a shell that people actually want to watch. Not fucking little girls running around fucking trash cringe dialogue, fam. Should I go see it in cinema? Apparently it's IMAX now. You can actually go see the, the Halloween ends in IMAX. I don't, I don't think I'd go out my way to IMAX to see it, but I'm definitely gonna watch it in cinema. I watched all of them in cinema. It's the last Halloween film, so I'm gonna go watch it. Well, I the uh, Maximus sees the Augustus. Then you need to help me. Find some sort of evidence that we can use to make him reveal what he's plotting. Oh, okay, so you should go watch it then. <laughs> okay. We have a new cinema in my town, so it's, it, before I had to go actually quite far to get to a cinema. Kingston was the closest to Staines, but now there's one in my town, so, and it's a good screen, so I might go watch Halloween. Cinema wins noise. The guy's asking if you call your mum, mama. F nah, that's an American thing. That's something like a war lady would say. That's something I've heard war lady say, like the term mama. Daniel Clarkson. The file said his only real talent was his ability to pick up women. But when I spoke with him in the warehouse, he seemed dignified, like a truly accomplished man. Oh shit, he's, he's fucking uh, sobered up, fam. He's turned into a don, fam. Marrying into the Clarkson family must have put him through a lot. More like a southern thing, yeah, southern. Why do you think Jethro here survived? Why? I mean, doesn't he look like the kind of guy who'd die first in a horror movie? He married into the Clarkson family. He didn't possess Clarkson blood, so he had nothing to do with Helena Doman's plan. The blood purge thing? But if that was all there was to it, then Helena Doman wouldn't have killed anyone but Clarkson's, right? Yet a ton of the Clarkson gang members died, along with Sheriff Woods. <sighs> doesn't add up. She did whatever it took to achieve her goals. She'd kill if the plan required it. Coming home in December, Moy. What is this, the UEFA League or some shit? World Cup? What? Coming home in December, Moy. <laughs> I don't follow when football tournaments are. UEFA Championship. But killing people outside of the Clarkson family was never a priority. Her ultimate goal was to cut off the Clarkson bloodline. It dulled up, dulled up. Maybe he was Cup, always okay. meant to be an assistant to the goddess of fertility. World Cup, now ain't coming home. Especially not now, fam. I can't, uh, uh, they're gonna, this is how they're gonna spin it. Because the energy prices have gone up, inflation's gone up, everything's shit. England has to win, England has to win. They're gonna turn it into a nationalist thing. They're gonna think that, oh, if England wins the World Cup, everything's okay. 
they, that, that, and then you're gonna see all that rhetoric come out so nah we don't deserve to fucking win at anything fam what like a servant scum's wish yeah the dull dust He was the kind of person who was most in his element when he had someone to serve. Dude, you want to get so many replies, Kaiser. They're rabid. FF14. Wait, 30 minutes later, Zenith just came on playing it. <laughs> Even Bloody. afterwards, he let Patricia take over the estate while he became her assistant. Oh, wow. Okay. As soon as he settled into his role, the townspeople started to respect him. Now they practically revere him, and he's even earned himself a nickname, One-Armed Danny. So you think his life played out exactly the way Professor R planned it to go? Talk about tragic. They're trying to make it look like this was for the best. This was for the best. Purging this dynasty, Southern dynasty. Probably was photograph of Patricia Clarkson. I thought she was imprisoned right here in this room, but there was no one here. Where could she be then? I was so positive, but she isn't here. There is something about this room, though. Agent Jones, what do you think? Uh, me? I'm not as smart as you. Why are you even asking me? Are you hiding something? Okay, hold on. Um, friend company. Okay, hold on. To clarify, if a friend, FC mate, or even a random person tells you they're quitting because this game has become a problem in their life due to addiction, then do not try to get them to stay. They are likely already struggling with leaving and we've tempted to come back often at first. Every now and then someone will pop up in one of my um, LS chats or my FC chats telling people they have an addiction to this game. It's impacting their life in a negative way and they need to leave. Too often the common response is, oh, don't go, I'll miss you. But you'll miss X content. Dude, I feel like Zenith was borderline trying to tell me that. Oh, but you need to get here, but you need to. I was like, look, I set myself my goal. Uh, or, but you're, you are a healer tank, DPS. This is damaging response. It's better to let them know they're making the right decision, that they should seek counseling if they can, and they should get support from someone if their life, in their life, parent, friend, significant other. If you'd like to be a pillar of support, then do it outside of the game and do not mention the game to them. My oh, God, MMOs are dangerous. You give your life away to them, man. You know, Tenrin, like, Tenrin, Zach, Zenith. Like, I'm shocked that he's finished Endwalker, but he still plays it. I thought you'd just leave it there, stop paying $7 a month for it. Why would you? I guess they, they're having fun. They're addicted, I don't know. <laughs> of course not. I will go Knock back it to off. it, but I'm nearly done with everything. Everything, every, every expansion that they've got planned right now, I'm almost near the end of it, you know? And I was able to walk away and just be like, yeah, play this game, play that game. You know, I, I, I got out. I got out before getting addicted, but I don't get addicted to stuff like this. I, I, I struggle to play games more than three hours at a time. I start getting fidgety if I if I end up playing a game for more than three hours. But I wouldn't I wouldn't have been addicted to it. I don't think there was any scenario where I would have been like just forever for like three years playing it. Agent Jones is brain dead. Me? Yeah. Hiding something? Ha! <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> Come on. I got nothing to hide. Dude, I didn't suspect uh, Jones, sorry, uh, Sheriff Woods. Uh, so this guy could be some fucking bad guy, I don't know. I thought I would find answers in this room. I thought that Patricia would be here, but I was wrong. This room is only filled with photos of people related to the case and the handiwork of a madman. Feels like I'm wandering through a heavy mist. Why is Morgan showcasing those women's photos and that bed? He's wait, he's been waiting for someone to come and figure it out because he's losing his mind. Like he's dying, he's dying basically. Dumb. This, this, the MC is basically dying. He's terminal. 
I, I think he just wanted someone to come along to figure it out. That's why he's been saying, oh, you're good. You're good, fam. He's been waiting for Aaliyah, someone like Aaliyah, to figure this all out. Is this supposed to be the altar from the site where Lise Clarkson's body was Dold found? is the culprit. Oh, shit. Dold, what if you turn out to be like a killer? You're the last person I'd ever suspect of anyone online to be like a like a mad like like a don serial killer what is dull that dull that dull why would he want to replicate that inside of his own home there's no way this man is sane that's a bit kind of sus like it's an arrow Looks like an arrow point. Or like a... Why did Lise have to die first? When they chopped her up like that, he's trying to simulate the way they chopped Lise up. Oh shit. It's like Deadly Premonition 1, the tree growing out of a thing. What? I wish Gio was here. Oh. <sighs> what is this? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. What the hell? After she lost her family in the Lucare incident, she went scroll? to go live at the Clarkson estate. Why the fuck did he kill the rat? Oh, rat. Okay, it looks like a squirrel. I got Geo on my mind. I feel like there's so many squirrels everywhere. Rick Forest cries and tree growing out the boy. I think he was simulating the, what. I think he was testing out what the seeds do when they're inside you or something, maybe. And once she grew up, she assumed control of their empire seemingly without any hesitation. She must be strong. How did she eventually come to accept her cursed blood and the fate it placed on her shoulders? The one who took her in after the incident was Daniel Clarkson. The next Daniel in line Clark to succeed the Clarkson family. Dulda. I got an ad, and when it finished, all I heard was me being a killer. Yeah, doll, I was saying, of all the people I know online, like, all the people I know, you're the last person I'd ever suspect of being like a psycho killer. But what if you turn out to be a psycho killer, doll? He's the one that ended up raising her from that point onwards. I've always known doll was a professional assassin working Kenya. <laughs> Isn't fate strange? In the end, two people who were completely unrelated by blood ended up inheriting that house. Yeah, you're right. But sometimes I wonder, what is family anyway? Here we go. We're going to go into the whole Cuban fucking... How progressive Cuba is. <laughs> what is family anyway? <laughs> Everyone's celebrating Cuba for us. Go back far enough, we're all strangers to one another. Dolda Maximus Calum Prime Swarm. We're talking countless generations, marriages and birth, you know. Humans love to deify the rules they create. It's almost like that's been an unwritten law from the very start. Okay. Sheriff Melvin Woods. I never met him myself, but his face makes him look like a very nice guy. His background and childhood didn't have any red flags either. Yeah, you never guess, Melvin. It's like it's like saying that Dull is a leader of a cult, of a racist cult. <laughs> Mackenzie would be destroyed if Dull turned out to be trans. I think I would, yeah. As a person who falls into a few of those things listed, my problem is beyond gaming addiction. I'm just happy, unhappy with life in general. Being stuck in a deep depression pushes people away. I have no place I belong. 
They only further digs me into playing games, trying to be social, but ultimately just bother you. Yeah, MMOs are destructive to people like that. They find a community in online games, but they, they still have that barrier from people where they don't feel like they're judged. So, Though I think I would be too. <laughs> Yet we're supposed to believe that he was one of the masterminds behind that entire incident? He can't have been. If you loved someone from the bottom of your heart... Find communities and tell them to suck their toe in a dash. Would you ever be able to marry someone else? Or kill for them? Whoa, uh, what are we talking about? I never heard of any kind of motive like that in any other murder case. I just keep feeling like we're being fed a story that he made up in his mind. <sighs> True. Honestly, without having experienced what that's like, I can't really say what I'd do. But I'd never try and force love to happen, if it didn't seem like it was meant to be. There are 3.5 billion women on this planet. There's got to be more than one specific person who anyone can fall deeply in love with, right? But what if we were talking about pizza, not women? You just discovered the perfect ultimate pizza, but you aren't allowed to take even a single bite unless you kill someone for the cook. Have you ever loved someone with all your heart? <laughs> what kind of person do you take me for? That's my line. This room paints such a bizarre picture. But upon closer look, I can see some strange sort of pattern to it all. Was Morgan trying to recreate something with all this? If so, there must be a reason for all of this. I love it. He's just now incapable of solving this problem. Solving this problem. And now Ali is like the next generation of like genius FBI agent who has his powers. Find communities and tell them to start their ultimate pizza. Yeah. Oh shit, red rope. Rope tied around a lighting fixture. Oh, it's the peace symbol of the game. What could it mean? Uh, uh, you sure it's okay to press that? Won't know until we try. It's gonna form a... form some image hey, of shadow. Hey! It's Woodstock. Look! A peace sign. Love and peace, man. Even I can figure out what this is from. It's Jimi Hendrix, Janis Joplin, Grateful Dead, and Led Zeppelin. But I shouldn't have to explain it to a music nut like you, right? Dolba. That isn't a peace mark. It's upside down. You don't need to be a music nut to see that. Well, who says that's the top part? If you're looking from Lisa's head, this is the top part, making it a big, fat peace mark. No, this is the ground. Where's your proof? The red seeds. Seeds go in the ground, right? That makes this wall the bottom. Lisa's head is clearly at the top, period. <sighs> also, Agent Jones. Man, I wouldn't want to be a coroner. Yeah. Led Zeppelin never played at Woodstock. Tashi, do you like beans or toast with a little cheese? Yeah, I love that shit, man. I don't know about that, though. Okay. I've seen the bedrooms of countless violent criminals, but this one is on a completely different level. He jacked the eye patch. He jacked the eye patch off a dead body. <laughs> it's beyond insane. What's that? Jack and the Beanstalk. Told when we went to McKenzie's house. <laughs> Nandy's coming. Nandy's coming to the UK. I might meet up with him. He hasn't told me where he's going to be staying, but now I'm going to go meet Nandy when he comes. A hunting trophy. A brown bear with a dragonfly eye patch. Why is it smoking a cigar? It's probably supposed to represent Philip J. Clarkson's body. And the elk is? Helena Doman. 
so that's why it's got such good taste in fashion. And this one is Galena Clarkson? Why did he want to line up corpses that were killed in different places, all together in a single room? Red seeds? It's the arrow pointing to the red seeds. It looks like an arrow. It's all connected by red seeds. We know that, though. London, I think, not sure. He's Bradford. representing a human oh, with no, a Bradford. hunting trophy made from an animal. I feel like I'm looking at a piece of modern art done in really bad taste. He was taught how to rule as a child, never confided in anyone, and married for purely political reasons. Liverpool, Manchester, Birmingham. Bradford. I'm gonna go Bradford. <laughs> Where they put 4G in the kicker. <laughs> then he prospered so much that he became powerful enough to rule an entire town on his own. But in the end, his own child betrayed him and ended his entire clan in a series of violent deaths. If that was your life, how would you look back on it? Yeah, beats me. I wasn't born into a rich family, nor was I ever taught how to rule. Could never understand anyone in Liverpool, yeah. Wessex, Mercia, East Anglia, Northumbria, Ladia. Yeah. The one place I know 98 going is White Man area. It's like Somerset or Devon or some shit. And for what it's worth, I've also never knocked up a young ex-actress, but... I guess the one thing we can say is that any good life needs Those balance. Those Saxon days. Yeah, I don't know anyone who calls it Mercia anymore. Like, I, they, we still use East Anglia, Northumbria. Merce, I don't think we use uh, Wessex and Mercia now. Anglo-Saxon days. Get too hung up on one thing and you lose sight Norwich. of everything else. And if you betray someone, you'll get betrayed too. Fra Frangles is done. They've gone downhill. You know, every, every great store that's on the d -low is destined to get so popular that it goes downhill. They're done. I've got, I've got GDK. I'm going to take him to Ger German Donner Kebab. It's, it's my replacement for Frangles. Amazing Donner fam. It's run by a Scottish dude, some white Scottish dude, and my my bro actually met met the guy who runs the GDK chain. And honestly, they're amazing. Their donor is man. I'm gonna take him there. Pepe's. I might take him Pepe's. I don't know. Some he lives in Taunton in Somerset, I think. But he goes, he visits Brian, I think. If someone thinks they can step all over people and then live out the rest of their life in peace, they're fooling themselves. We always get to see how those people end up in our line of work. In the end, they die horrible deaths. That is why pizza is the only thing I trust. Pizza never betrays you. She planned a string of murders all in order to restore the Clarksons to their former glory. I, even, I, I didn't even realize my bro had tried it. And he probably tried it before I did, but he never mentioned it. Then when I mentioned it, I go, bro, bro, Taco Bell is so fucking shit. He's like, yeah, it's fucking shit. So bad. And you think that Taco Bell hit in this country would at least taste better than America, for example, ingredients-wise, right? So if Americans have been eating shit all this time, maybe there's a chance it wouldn't be. But it's fucking crap. Take him on a food tour, yeah? Yeah. According to Morgan's story, matches up with the files, too. I take him Kingston. If I meet Nandy, I'm going to see if I can get him to meet me in Kingston. Kingston has a great places. There's a good shake place. But I want to take him to GDK, though. That's uh, Aladdin's actually fucked that. There's a place in my town called Aladdin's. Me and my friends always used to fucking say that there's something in these chick-fil-a burgers they make that will put you in a coma like it puts you to sleep it's like they put sleeping pills in the mayonnaise or something like not in a bad way it's just when you eat that shit, it's so fucking amazing aladdin's rap 
I'm gonna take him to Aladdin's fan. It's the one place that me and my friends have sworn by like forever. KFC is decent. We have it now and again. Sam's decent. DDK, but Aladdin's was our place, fam. The chicken fillet bug. I don't know what it is. This is fucking amazing. But the only proof of that is the confession she privately We've got gave Popeye's to Morgan opening just before Ely. she died. So hopefully by the time Nancy gets here, fucking take him to do a Popeye's or something. Curry houses, yeah. There's a few really good curry places in our thing. Galena Clarkson was also murdered immediately after she confessed. They give you those fucking family-sized nans stuck on a skewer, like those giant fucking nans. You got like like lamb chutney, like proper curry, chapli kebabs, everything, man. Subzies, all that good shit. Yeah, he's a preacher guy. Yeah. Don't you think it's all a little too convenient? Well, I hope he comes on days. Wise, yeah. I hope he's come f comes for like a week or two weeks, because then we can. It's easier to to figure out with him. Get him munchy boxes. He and should definitely sacrifices. take back. Yeah, munchy boxes, but also he should take back some stuff as well. I'm recommending some savory stuff and sweet stuff. Meat chips, none. Yeah. None of the FBI's official records contain an example of an actual human sacrifice. Aside from the cases that Francis Zack Morgan easy. handled, that says is. I'm handling. Give him the Pokemon card. There's no point. No point. <laughs> there are tons of examples of animal sacrifice, though. And remember the witch hunts back in the Middle Ages? Meaning? Meaning. There are always exceptions to the yeah, rule. I'll sell them. I'll, I'll mark them up. <laughs> I'll be like, fuck Canadian dollars, fam. We're using, our con we're using it in terms of our currency. After conversion, fam. And Morgan alluded to the existence of some sort of journal, right? I think once Nandy's here, I can maybe grow possessive. Possessive into coming along. Because Nandy's already... My Nandy already... Uh, presented it to Zess, and I don't think Zess was interested, or maybe he's not. He's too busy to meet meet up with Nandy. But I think I can convince him. Yeah, I think he said he read it in Professor Zess Art's is lab. not social, sociable. Like he, I think he barely he struggles to he struggles to chill with his own mates. It's going to be impossible for Nandy. The only way I was able to get Zess out to meet me is one, it was Naoki Urasawa, so I'm Japanese mangaka, and two. Kojima, the, you know, signing Kojima, all that stuff. So he'll come out for that stuff, but I don't think he'll come out for Nandi. If we could find that, maybe this would all become easier to swallow. Yeah. The report didn't mention anything about a journal. And if it truly did exist, it surely would have been submitted as evidence, unless he tried to cover it up on purpose, or... Unless the journal never existed in the first place. Exactly. The manga. Reading the this manga. case took place in Lucare and centered around the Clarksons. Oppressive authority, cross purposes, madness. <sighs> I think he said before the end of the year. I think, I think. Yeah, December. Yeah. But Katrina took the truth along with the Did he come in December? Is rough. Buried though. it all at the bottom of the Coming around the Christmas holidays. But there's one truth that can never be washed away. Yeah, and, and there's going to be all these different random bank holidays, Christmas holidays, Easter, all that stuff. Like, that's afterwards. But there won't be, places won't be open as much. Girl. That's the problem. I'll, I'll see. Dude, I hope Popeyes is open by then. It's pitch black and cold at three, yeah. There are a lot of places to go at night, though. Like, cause, because I'm always up anyway, I know all the places that you can go to at night that are decent. Everyone thinks that the principal thing to the tree is the fruit. But in point of fact, the principal thing to it is the seed. Now I know why Lise Clarkson was murdered first. Lise's death was Professor R having second thoughts. 
According to Morgan, her plan was to perform parricide and filicide, then commit suicide. Those were the three deaths necessary to complete the ritual, remember? Which means she technically could have killed Patricia first. That would have been the best way to delay any interference from the Clarksons themselves. The reason she didn't kill Patricia first is because Lena was actually following a different plan inside her own mind. Or perhaps she merely changed her plan as she followed through with it. Easter would have been better here. Yeah. At some point, new emotions I just started realized to the cutscenes don't play. No, because I can, I, I can, I, I press the button to progress it, adult. So I can look at the chat, continue the cut. She had the cut second scene. thoughts about something. And in order to shake those off, she used Galena to kill Lise first. In order to cut off any possible escape. I'll figure out with Nandi. Even if we can go, we can get two days together, or one or two days. I'm gonna make sure that, yeah, I'm gonna take him to this place this day, that place did that day. But that only made her plan move ahead quicker than she could have ever imagined which forced her to rush right up to the end with those misgivings always in the back of her mind. Huh? Uh, wait, hold on. I just read the cutscenes. Are you going to invite Nandi to your house? Depends on where he is. It depends. We were talking about it before in the chat. Depends on where he ends up staying. He doesn't know where he's staying. Book a tour for Central London in the morn, then food tour. Yeah, like what me and Zest did. Me and Zest were like, we were like in London by before nine, like eight eight a.m. We were there. We, we we waited. We saw. We did the art exhibition thing. Saw the the speech. We then we ate. We used the afternoon to eat. So yeah, Central London. Yeah, that's always the best thing. So I'm, I might might try and like London is like a good central area. No matter where you are. So. Yeah, you lost me. What are Nandy's you talking not about? Nandy's not a killer, Yeah, I got no worry with Nandy. I mean, he's met you. So I'm like, okay, yeah, I can vouch that he's not a fucking psycho, man. In other words, at some point, Helena Doman decided that she wanted to make Patricia the next heir. The blood purge wasn't for the goddess of fertility. It was for their daughter, Patricia. Wait. Are you saying Helena knew from the start that Sheriff Woods would die with Candy? That's the only explanation I can think of. Huh. Remember, this is only assuming that everything Morgan told us was true. Until I can trust that man, this is all nothing more than conjecture. <laughs> Nandy. I can tease him about One Piece. How much, how big a fan of One Piece he is. I will take him to Forbidden Planet though, if we go London. Since he's such a big One Piece fan, why not take him to like the biggest weeb fucking store in, in London? Take him to Forbidden Planet. We used to go there every couple of weeks when I was like younger. At least, especially when I was uni time, first year uni. Always used to go there. Uh, considering how insane this all is, it sounds perfectly but believable to he's me. He's gonna realize the stuff is way more expensive here. Way, way more expensive here than ca Canada. Like even with our currency taking a knock, it's it's w way expensive here compared to <laughs> yeah for being a Francis Zach Morgan, remember me? Oh, cat got your tongue. No, not no, Melvin. It's too. some voodoo spirit that's been talking you to me. You know why I'm here, don't you? Surely, you must know what this means. Oh, to some fat people in there, yeah. Allow me fat people working there as well. Work. They've got a huge the manga section, One comic sign, section downstairs. Upstairs is all <laughs> like merchant crap. But only in the presence of true love. Did you hear that? Good. It's been a while since I felt this. You know, there's hardly anyone in this era who can see me like you can. 
And they've been dropping like flies since you first came to see me. Breaks my heart. Questions for me? What are you, huh? Okay. Excellent. You pass. You haven't changed, Francis Zach Morgan. So, dude, but if he's calling me Zach, question isn't for me to answer. Go and see it with your own eyes. Oh, time's up. We'll have to finish this during our next meal. No, no, I don't wait, know. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, this is bad. The hell just happened? Target escape hostage. Agent Jones. What is this referring to? Avery Smith kidnapped Patricia Clarkson. Avery Smith, the lanky dude. You kidding? Avery Smith? The vault manager? Why would he kidnap Patricia? Tell me what's going on right now. Well... Answer me, Jones. I made a deal with Morgan. Oh shit, Firefly. Back when he... Was fairy to the bathroom. Well, that's his fairy that he's been speaking to. What? What? Morgan said something to me. If we want to find Patricia, we need to look at Avery Smith. He's the obvious guy. They kept talking about a giant that took the body out, huh? Have you lost your mind? <sighs> what he said made sense. Ever since 2005, Avery's been working deep inside that cold storage warehouse. He was also arrested in the past for getting too friendly with Lise Clarkson. And after Katrina, he apparently worked on renovating the warehouse for free. What if that allowed him to freely modify the warehouse as he pleased? That would explain why her body remained missing for 14 whole years. Then, I did a little check and found out that he never went back to work after Christmas vacation ended. So what? Why would you trust him? Uh, I don't. I just decided it was worth investigating, that's all. So, I sent two agents to Avery's house without telling anyone. He's got the taboo trinity there at the bottom right of the screen. He's still got that taboo trinity that the preacher made. <laughs> I just called in a favor from an old friend in the New Orleans branch. No one gave you clearance for that. You think you can just... Uh, but what if Morgan's telling the truth? If he is, we're both gonna look like total clowns. Clowns who went barging into a former agent's house on completely unfounded suspicions. HQ will have a field day with us. They'll string us up as the two dumbest agents to have ever graced the field. <sighs> I just wanted to take some precautions. And besides, if he is lying, it's still no skin off our backs, right? If things work out, we'll end up solving a difficult case that's been driving everyone crazy. Imagine that. You and me, just the two of us, solving a case like this. I'll be able to jump ship on this crappy job. And you'll be able to freely investigate all things Simon San Rouge, Jones. just like you've always wanted. <laughs> You'll never get to make another game. These two would have, well, at least Aaliyah would have been the MC of the next game. But I don't, at this rate, considering the budget they give him now, he's never going to make a third game. Besides, you know that Morgan is Director Abraham's favorite. Even if we get into some sort of trouble, if Morgan testifies to Abraham's for us, we'll totally be in the clear. I don't care. This isn't the way things are supposed to be done. Well, I'm sorry, but I had no other choice. You were so engrossed in this, and come on, you know how I am. <sighs> Besides... Saving the hostage should take priority above all else. There's no time for squabbling. We need to find Avery Smith no matter what it takes. Are we gonna be playing as these guys? 
I wonder. <laughs> but how? Uh, well... Thanks to your heroic maneuvers, we just lost our suspect. I know, but... I know how to find him. Oh, shit. I should be able to see the other world the way I am now. Just let me go, please. Morgan? It's okay, my fairy. I know I can convince them. Oh, shit. Aaliyah Davis. She's on edge, as she should be. Who wouldn't be after seeing this room? Budding rap corpse. Definitely not the best thing for them to see right now. If I saw that during an investigation, I wouldn't be able to stay calm and listen to someone either. That Morgan Jones from TWT. <laughs> yeah. I found the first one last autumn. A dead rat with a bud coming up out of its stomach, just like this one. A rat ate a red seed, died, and the bud sprouted. Red tweet, red tweet. Honestly, it shocked me. Up until this point, I had only ever seen red seeds, saplings, and big trees. Not a nation army. So I decided to grow one of my own. What are you talking about? I needed to solve the mystery of the red trees. Why do they exist? But all of my sprouts died without ever growing the tiniest bit. Wet tweet. Forget about a big tree. I couldn't even grow a single sapling. So you kept experimenting. Two days after the seed enters a rat, it takes the rat's life. On the third day, a bud sprouts up, then grows to that size after five more. <sighs> I tested this on 137 corpses. In only a few months? Blech. You knew after the after his like love interest died in the first game that he would not stop until he got rid of these fucking red trees. Because the villain told him, I went around for fucking hundreds of years, like decades and hundreds of years, planting these seeds everywhere, in every town, every war, everything. But I was never able to grow a bud any larger than this size. I still remember what he told me. Apparently, there's a special trick to making these grow. You're totally insane. <laughs> Maybe. But there is a special way of making it grow, but he can only, they only grow inside, I think it's virgins, I think that's the key. They only grow inside virgins. I don't have much time left. I'm pretty sure that's why I can see the other world. Now. Bruh, our MC's dying fam. He'll be dead fam by the end of this game probably. I'd lost that sense ever since the Greenvale incident, but it's back now. Please, will you just trust me? Yeah. He's, he, in gaming, he's one of my favorite MCs. He's just such a fascinating MC, man. He's up there with Solid Snake Simon. for me. You'll trust me, won't you? Simon, Simo, Simon. Uh, what? No, Agent Jones. Remember the warning I gave you at the very beginning? You can't let him take control of the conversation. Yeah, I, I know. I know. Here we go. Please, Halia Davis, let me go. This is our case to finish. No, you aren't an agent anymore. But you don't know how to find him. Neither of you ever could. Oh, I'll find him. I swear on my pride as an active agent that I won't give up until I do. That won't get you anywhere. It's beyond you. He's retired. He's too fucked in the head. Plus, he, he was in court terminally also, yeah. Shut up! They're trying to find the the person who took the body of the, the first victim in the game. The first body I found in the game, we put it in a cold storage. But before the case wrapped up, it just disappeared. So we're trying to find why they stole that body. Why has it turned up now, even though we solved the case? 
You think we can't find him, but you can. Yeah, he's seeing fairies. And I think the more the more vivid it becomes, he's closer to death, basically. Just how stupid do you think we are? If you want us to believe you, then it's about time you showed us some proof. Yeah, she got kidnapped. He's grown up now. Apparently, they just said that Avery Smith, that lanky dude, in the lanky dude with the, the crash helmet, he 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 um, kidnapped her. Where's my proof? If your story is true, then why did Avery Smith kidnap Patricia? Patricia resembles Lise. Yeah. She looks like just like her mum. So he looks just like her aunt. I even got them confused once. And Lise reported being stalked by a ten-foot man. So he's stalking her again. That's Avery Smith? Exactly. But he's only 6'7 at best. His physical characteristics don't match the person you're talking about. Yes, but the red seeds make a dude grow. And I figured this out. I once concluded the very same thing. But now I know. That was definitely Avery. Yep. He protected Lisa's body for the past 14 years. Until you discovered his sleeping beauty. So after losing Lisa's body, he kidnapped Patricia as a replacement? Th that's ridiculous. Is that really what you think happened? Even if Avery did possess that sort of mentality, it doesn't make sense. If Lise was really that important to him, he would have tried to steal her back. Not now, maybe. But certainly after she was buried. Yeah, it fucked up that entire town, man. <laughs> There's no would reason you to be believe able it to go up. on worshipping a goddess who had been defiled by so many hands? That ice was a barrier. A shield that separated the divine from our world. You said that she was the mastermind behind the tragedies in Lucare. I got que I got question. <laughs> Tashi. <laughs> oh shit. Tashi, get ready. You got you got question from Kaiser fam. That her convictions about the Clarkson bloodline are what started it all. Yes, that's right. She instigated her younger sister into killing her own niece. Then she committed suicide immediately after killing her father, hoping that Sheriff Woods would be able to complete her plan. How could one call such an unpredictable series of events a plan? And as we saw, Sheriff Woods chose a fate that was completely different from what she envisioned. No, he didn't. In the end, things went exactly as she planned. What do you mean? At a certain point, she realized that her plan was wrong, so she tried to adjust things, using me as a pawn. But then, the unexpected happened. She and I both underestimated what Avery was capable of. That's why I'm here right now trying to convince you in order to save Patricia's life. Dude, why the fuck is Avery in on this? Hey, Bell. Your hypothesis was pretty much on the mark. Last week, I went back to Lucari. Oh, shit. Ali was right. Then I bought a used car and got on a train in Trenton. But not for the reason you think. I wasn't stalking Patricia. And I'd never try to kidnap her. Then why would you go there? Why would you risk so much, especially since you knew that you were under surveillance? Because... Once again, I'm chasing San Rouge. San Rouge? Even after I quit the FBI, I continued to study the red trees on my own. Oh, I remember the cleaner issue. It blew up the cleaner. That was so bullshit, that was, man. 
And now, I've come to the conclusion that those red seeds and San Rouge both come from the same roots. Red seeds and San Rouge, okay, yeah. I also found proof that someone's inherited the original recipe. That's why I flew to Lucare. Who got the recipe? To confirm my suspicions. But I was more That's how he was able to bridge the distance. I, I couldn't move like I used to. No badge, no gun. So, after wandering aimlessly around town, I swallowed down my torment. <laughs> nah, I can't be Patricia be making it. If it is, that's messed you up. You expect me to believe that? I know you've got it in you. What's that supposed to mean? You found Lise Clarkson's body. The one thing I never did. And only a few days after discovering the body, you came to visit me. Yeah, she, she, she's the head of the fa Clarkson family you now. You should be fully capable of and, discerning and, uh, that what I'm telling the you guy with the, the mullet, truth. what's his name? Daniel Clarkson, he's her sister. Talking much about oneself can also be a means to conceal oneself. I think we'll get to see them now <clears throat> older. Then we'll see them as older you characters. You can't now. trick me. Okay. I'm trying to trick nobody. What is this drum? I have no idea. Their, their, their lives just parted ways. He he went on to do the Greenville case. That's why. That that those flashbacks are prequels to the first game. And these this section now is sequel to the last game. But the, so Deadly Premonition comes right. One comes right in the middle. Steal the other eye patch. Dude, that would be jokes if I get that. Please patch. don't tell me it was a tool they plan to use for the blood purge. Sharp eyes as usual, Belle. No. It was part of an even darker... Taboo ritual. Trinity. Taboo Trinity. It, it was far more important to our case. And far more horrible, if you can believe it. <laughs> Taboo Trinity. What? <laughs> no, that's just a drum. <laughs> a drum. Made from three empty cans, animal skins, and a fragrant pressed flower. Like I said, what is it? Maybe it's a souvenir? Some bullshit fetch quest I had to do. What? You expect me to believe that? Love it. He's laughing because he knows it was just some dumb fetch quest to make a shitty drum. <laughs> Love it. This reminds me of the beginning of Uncharted 4 when Drake is up in his loft and he's got all his souvenirs from Uncharted 1 to 3. You said that someone inherited the Saint Rouge recipe, didn't you? Is that someone Avery Smith? It has to be. He's too dumb to make the drug. Avery used to help Professor R do research in secret. What? Well, that wasn't in the report. I only realized it just now. The moment I spilled my coffee on the floor. Avery revealed that he was coffee. helping with some sort of research. <sighs> but at the time, I let his confession Ask go it to in your one coffee, ear Toshi. out the Ask other. it to your coffee, Dulda. And then the very next week, game comes out. Now that I look back on it, I realize it was solid proof that he was helping her produce San Rouge. What makes you think that? He had free access to the deepest parts of the cold storage warehouse. Oh. Wait. Uh, meaning... Saint Rouge needs to be produced in an extremely cold environment. Exactly. Aaliyah Davis. You already considered this possibility, didn't you? Yet to connect it to the coffee. Coffee. Cold answers. Yeah. That's why you investigated the cold storage warehouse as soon as you got to Lucare, in order to locate where San Rouge was being made. Then, you came across Lisa's body by pure chance. Let's find out about Melvin. Melvin wasn't the fool king. What? 
Many different characters pop up in Lena's journal, and I mistook one of them for someone else. What are you talking about? After Simon hit me and I fainted, I had a dream. Now I'm convinced. It's the Hungan is the Fool King? I'm the Fool King. Oh, you're the Fool King. The Fool King was always meant to be an outsider who suddenly arrived in Lucare. And the man she felt a need to eliminate wasn't me, but Avery. Lena realized her plan was on the verge of falling apart. She also guessed that I would be able to save Patricia from Melvin. The one worry that remained in her heart was leaving Patricia behind and how her life would play out from that point on. Especially since she would be left behind with Avery, the large, childlike man who's beyond anyone's control. She wrote that journal entry hoping that I, the Fool King, would be capable of stopping Avery. Oh wow, so he actually failed. He actually fucking failed and he just realized. And she wrote it in a specific way in order to try and rouse me to action. Lena and Melvin both entrusted me with their daughter. So please, just let me go. It's my duty to protect her. Shit. Shit, man. Who do you think benefited most from the Greenvale case? <sighs> no one. Many lives were lost. That's all. You really believe that? Everyone who survived was overcome with sadness, scarred for life. That DP1 fam, that DP1. Without exception? Without exception. Isn't that right, my fairy? I feel like you're the one person who benefited from the case. You were able to add a new chapter to your stunning career and earned unshakable trust from the chief. That's what allows you to go on using his intel network as you please, even though you're retired. Are you seriously suggesting that? Sickness is destroying my body. I feel like I'm on the verge of losing my mind. Yet, somehow, I'm unable to forget the cases connected to those seeds, whittling down what's left of my life, chasing them. You really think I'm doing all this? for nothing but self-interest? Is that really what you're saying? Shit, he's actually gone pissed. It's rare to see him pissed, but he is pissed. I understand what you're trying to say, but it's too perfect. It's too perfect, just like that report of yours. How could you come to such a detailed conclusion after spending years shut up in this room? It doesn't make sense. The only possible explanation is that you're bending the narrative in the direction you want it to go. Why do you think I left the field for two years after Greenvale? That case cost me not only my best friend, but also my special talent. Yeah, Zach went, snapped him out of it. I never thought I'd lose something like that. So you, so you went. But ever since went. then, I've been unable to solve cases using that method. <gasps> Metaphysical offender profiling. I tried everything I could think of to regain my lost talent, but it never came back to me. Yeah, York died after DP1. Like, his personality died with his, like, love interest. That's why I quit working for the FBI. And without anywhere else to go, I simply spent my days seeking truth, searching for an answer I'd never find. Yeah, poor bastard, man. <sighs> So, time continued to cruelly pass me by. Until finally, a disease started eating away at my body. I thought it was all over for me. <coughs> but about half a year ago, I finally reached my conclusion. Everything started with the red seeds. Red tweet. He and I encountered these seeds long before we reached Greenvale under the seething, mind-melting sun of Louisiana. Then, for some reason, in the beginning of December, I finally regained my talent. Oh, shit. And instantly, I could see the other world again. Get it? Through allowing the cancer cells to ravage my body, 
I regained the power to travel to the other side. This is the only answer, Aaliyah Davis. Truth is a surprise, born from coincidence and an unknown power. Two bizarre cases derailed your life. It must have been extremely painful. You have my deepest condolences, but that doesn't put you in the clear. You're still a suspect. A suspect? For what? Patricia isn't here. The murders of Sheriff Melvin Woods and Candy Woods. Their bodies were never recovered. Katrina carried them away, along with many other lives. The Hurricane Katrina. Aside from that report you wrote, there's nothing that proves your innocence. Hey, let's not jump to conclusions here. Oh, I'm not. I also suspect there's a possibility that he murdered individuals connected to other cases that he's worked on. The Greenvale report bears the same inconsistencies as this one, and both cases are filled with victims whose deaths were never witnessed. Stop. Don't say another word if you so much as mention her name. Oh god, he's gonna mention Anna. He's gonna mention Anna. If I mention it, then what? Anna fam. You will pay. Oh shit. Yeah, you don't want to say her name, fam. Twinkle next to Aaliyah. There we go. <sighs> Bell. No. Special Agent Aaliyah Davis. You're exceptionally talented, I admit it. You found Lisa's body, then discovered the red seeds all on your own. You even noticed that there was someone else in this room. You've got amazing intuition. You're a hunter with an extremely keen sense of smell. But you still can't perceive the other world the way you are now. Dulled. <laughs> That's all there is to it. Simon, look inside that trash can. Huh? The trash can? It's right behind you. Then you'll know for sure that I'm telling the truth. Dude, this is gonna be the proof they need. Receipt. We told you not to touch the sanctuary! What is this? FK. What's on that receipt? What is it, Agent Jones? FK. Holy crap. Huh. Contact a local agent and have them investigate Avery Smith's home. There are still agents investigating the Lucare area, right? Trust me. That's where Patricia Clarkson is. Trust you? Where's your uh, they're the initials of the villain for the last game, but he just made up the initials to cover. Yeah. Ask Aaliyah Davis. Ask her about the name of the person who tipped her off. So he's proving that he is FK, yeah? What do you mean? You're from Chicago. And you love pizza, right? Especially deep dish pizza, smothered in cheese. What does this have to do with pizza? Just ask her. And ask her why she decided to take this case in the first place. Got it? Pizza will never betray you. So you need to trust <laughs> her, defense, too. Yeah. But how could you have known that I would come here with her? I didn't. I just bet on you. God damn it. Hey! Tell me what's going on right now, Agent Jones! <clears throat> Oh, she's Thank Simon you, Jones' greatness. 
car key, Simon. Simon Jones crates. Let me go. Oh, you're gonna get Don't a car now. Just trust in the pizza. I'm the anonymous tipper. F K. Eh, it's on the corner of Third Street. A 69 Pontiac GTO. You've got excellent taste. Lend me your gun, too. Yeah. Agent Jones! Don't you see what you're doing here? This is a severe obstruction of justice. You're violating the FBI code. <laughs> yeah, Aaliyah, I know, but pizza will never betray me. <laughs> pizza? <laughs> Tell Abrahams to prepare a private jet for me at the airport. I know Robert won't turn his back on me. Wait, Morgan, are you serious? The chief would never lend out a private jet to a civilian like... Like... Uh, really? So they big up Chicago deep dish for no reason. I have to leave you for a bit, my fairy. They'll be fine. They'll figure it all out. York, can you hear me? Yeah, he said he got a York back. Go finish the job you started. That makes us even, okay? Mm. York, she really is a genius agent. She's probably going to end up being an even better agent than we were. M maybe he's going to become she just more needs like York. More experience under York's her belt. Uh, gone, but I think she's still he, only he got pursuing his the sense world she can the see with her made naked him eye. The powers of she York. needs to experience more frustration. He's nearly dead, sir. York. She needs to strengthen herself. <laughs> On the other hand, Simon's much smarter than he looks. No wonder he was able to go on watching us for four and a half years. All that struggling under the surface paid off in the end. <laughs> Do you want to know why he decided to start trusting me? It's simple. It's all because of the name I used to send the tip to the FBI. It's the name of that pizza parlor, the Chicago-style place with those trademarked crimson boxes. Franklin's Kitchen. Franklin's FK. Kitchen. Yet oh, again. So that's They've what got FK. the best deep dish pizza in the area. Both Simon Franklin's and I kitchen. love that place. That's why I told him, pizza will never betray you. Will it, York? I thought it was more sinister. <laughs> I thought they got tipped off by the villain. But it turns out, he trusts him. <laughs> love it. Love it. Franklin's Kitchen. Five hours later, so we're in the present now. Oh, oh my days. Old timer. Ugh. Old timer. Okay. I'm gonna save it here. Next stream, last stream. This is the final episode, episode four. York. It's almost time. Next stream, the last one. You all guys gotta be here, fam. Let's finish this. I'll be there soon. Watch my back, will you? Bro, he look like this is dog. going to be my final battle. So I'm this far gone, huh? Can't scan to But unlike 14 years ago, I feel more at home in this world now. <laughs> old man. It's like MGS4. It's fucking old man York fam. There's rust. This is Rust from True Detective, fam. Huh? Alright, let's save it. Next stream is gonna be the last one. This is the last episode, episode four. Oh, it's, it, I know it's already gonna be one whole episode, so I'm gonna. Bruh, greatness, guys. Greatness. Love this character. Even, even with the fucking horrendous gameplay in this game. It's not as good, it's, it's not as, good as the first game, I can tell you that. But the story always keeps you kind of keeps you going. So, Morgan, you gotta recap and summarize the story of what we just witnessed for the past. Dude, you 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 figured out yourself, Toshi. You be piecing it together yourself. You don't need me to fucking recap. <laughs> but yeah, let's end on a video. Let's play a goofy video. I'll play a, a Hollywood God video. I'll play a Hollywood God video. Let's find a short Hollywood God video. <laughs> Exit first. Mm. 
Rukia. 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 His name is Dora Rukia, right? Alright, let's see what we can bring up. Some fruitcake. Lunatic. Okay, uh... Hollywood God. Right now, with all two, Hope he's done a short rant right video on. like he always does. He's rep he's he's simping for a, a Christian pastor for dumb reason, even though he doesn't like it. Actually the only move that Marvel Disney can do. All these lovers of Nolan. What? Yeah, uh, he he doesn't do his short video. He, I think they've done something to him. Named his daughter Rukia, but pronounces Rukia the same. Oh, okay, I see. They're gonna get more into restream DP two beginning to end. No, why would I do that, fam? I'm not Geo, fam. I'm not Geo. Be playing the same game the minute I finish it, like FF6. Sorry, one sec. Let me play it, dude. This guy's got no more interesting videos. He don't do his, his, his um weird rants. Okay, let me play this one. Let me play this one. Let me play. I don't think you guys have seen this one. Yeah, let's play this one. So, are you ready? Are you ready? You see, unlike certain clowns on YouTube that want you to be worried and upset about the Lord of the Rings diversity or the Little Mermaid diversity, see, they got you distracted. They got you dis distracted on stupid shit. But that's not what I do. And I gotta talk to you, Andre, and a lot of other moderators. I made a few of you moderators, and you're not doing your job, and I'm getting pissed. His mods. Oh, he's got fucking... If you want to be moderators, just let me know that you're the real deal. If you really don't want to be moderators, don't pretend to be. Because I'm sick and tired of doing everything by myself. I made you moderators for a reason. That's what he gets for blocking people. So that you can do it for me. <laughs> and I can continue doing what I have to do here. But that's not the issue. That's not the issue tonight. I'm not gonna fucking complain about stupid bullshit that you can't control. Because the reality is you can't control what they do with Lord of the Rings. You can't control what they do to fucking goddamn Little Mermaid. You can't control that shit. That's propaganda. Propaganda to propaganda. get the sheeple and the cattle ready for the real deal. And the real deal is this. They're going to make, what's her name? They're going to make Meghan Markle the Queen of England. When it's going to happen, how it's going to happen... I can't tell you. This fucking nutcase. But they're going to make that woman the new queen of England. Mark my mother fucking words. You see, they got an agenda. And the agenda, huh, if you only knew. Research the six root race. Those in power have always been racist. They will always, always be, always will be racist. You will now understand what Ridley Scott, what he's doing when he make when he made those alien movies. 
you will understand. The door will open. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. What the hell happened? The door will the open. Order of women Freemasons. What? Read this. This guy is super fucking paranoid. This guy is like the crazy paranoid. This guy's more paranoid than open. Alex Jones. The vagina will open. Idiots. Morons. You're being distracted with superficial stupid shit. And not understanding what's going on. The Order of Women Freemasons. You better understand what's going on, and you better understand that they're going to make Meghan Markle the new Queen of England. They're going to make, what's that name of that vice president? What's the name of the vice president, the so-called? She ain't my vice president. What's her name? Kamala <laughs> What's her name? Kamala Harris. See, I don't follow this shit. Because I've learned one thing. You and him go to Ignorance hang home Ignorance is bliss, baby. I don't follow your fake news. I don't follow he's your American, fake he news. He's American. He doesn't even know his vice president. Ignorance is bliss. Kamala. Y'all better get ready. Fuck the little mer mermaid being black. Fuck the rings of power. I deal with the real shit. <laughs> I deal with the real shit, baby. No joke, no smoke. You're gonna have <laughs> Meghan Merkel as the Queen of England. You're gonna have Kamala as the president of the United Snakes. Y'all better get ready. United Snakes, bloody Y'all better hell. get ready. Your world is going to be turned topsy-turvy. You won't even recognize this bitch in a couple of years. And I'm going to do a video about their plan. I'm not going to do it right the now because as you can see, I'm inebriated. <sighs> And I want to make sure that when I do the video about their upcoming plans about the six root race. Six root race? Dude, I never heard of this that shit. That I say it so that you can understand it without any problem whatsoever. Get ready. That's right, Champagne. Champagne Poppy is absolutely right. Get ready. These people ain't stupid. Man, I'm, I'm ending the stream. They got you. I'll link it in the upset the about the Lord Discord. of the Rings power, a little mermaid being black. They got you worried about stupid shit. And you're not paying attention to the real shit. Biden ain't gonna last. Yeah, he, Heineken. He's got Heineken uh, can in a they cup. They knew that shit. I didn't even think Heineken beer was available purpose. in America. It's an old motherfucker. He's going to go the way of the dodo at any time. Prince Charles is a happy motherfucker. Oh, pro, sorry. King Charles is happy as hell that he finally is the king. It's, a, it's just so, is, it feels so European, Heineken does. I never expect to see a dude drinking it. There. I don't think it's going to last for long. Like Americans drinking lager or something. You watch and see. Mark my motherfucking words. Meghan Markle will be the Queen of England and Kamala will be the president of the United Snakes. I, I believe it about Kamala. And then you're going to be real mad. You're going to have something really angry to be about angry. You're going to be something. Some, you're, that's gonna, you're gonna see how angry you're going to be. You're going to have something to be really angry about. Kamala is, is Biden's puppet master. 
and you so-called moderators out here, Andre, Champagne Poppy, and maybe one or two others, y'all better stop moderating, for real. If you don't want to be a moderator, just tell me. Uh, you won't be a moderator no more. I'm not going to kick you out or boot you or ban you, but just be real, because I need real motherfuckers. I need the real deal. I'm sick and tired of moderating for myself the pedo's followers, milky tits followers, and Who's other enemies of mine that still exist on YouTube that are jealous. I don't know why they're jealous of me. Maybe because I told the truth and they still deal with bullshit. But I'm going to say it once again. I'm going to say it once again. Dude, that is... I'm going to say it once that again. That is mental, Kaiser. I don't usually if call things mental, but that is you are my enemy, mental. you are cursed, and you're going to have a vile, wretched death. Take that to the bank. Peace. I guess this guy is fucking... Sounds like Latter-day Saints. Yes. This, you, I don't know where on the spectrum this guy is. He's a paranoid schizophrenia. Well, he was schizophrenia, but he's paranoid. Fuck this guy. God damn. Alright, guys. I'm going to end it, man. I need to go take a slash, fam. I've been busting to take a slash. I'll go, go take a slash, fam. But yeah, glad glad you guys turned up. Turned up for the turn out for the next stream. It's the last one. Game's done. Damn game's done after the next stream, so. What piss. Take a piss. Take a slash. I'll go for a slash. <laughs> We're going to take the stash. <laughs> nah, go take a slash. Take a piss. More than gonna be Moderating, dude. I, I I reached out to that guy on Twitter, and I told him, please unblock me. It was a misunderstanding. Even your subs can vouch for me. He then unblocked me. I was crazy yesterday if my comment was showing, wasn't showing. So, but yeah, take care, guys. Let me end end with the Biden. I know Rick Rick only cares about the Biden. I learned, I learned a lot, and I learned that uh, I learned a lot. Anyway, uh. Bo, uh, Bo is associated here. Anyway, the point I want to make is, uh, I learned so much. I learned so much. I learned. Black, white, all colors, all backgrounds, but I mean, come on, man. Men, women, gay, straight, everyone deserves a shot, you know. Come on, man. You know the thing. You know what I mean? You know the thing. You know what I mean? Come on, man. What I have to do is I have things oh, I came down here because I remember the first bumper sticker I saw I learned that uh, I got hairy legs that 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 that, 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 that turned blonde in the sun and the kids used to come up and reach in the pool and rub my leg down so it was straight and then watch the hair come, come back up again and I learned about kids jumping on my lap I love kids jumping on my lap oh uh oh I'm in trouble trouble what are we not dead 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 you know come on man Give me a little break here. Get a life. Taking cocaine or not? What do you think? Huh? Come on, man. Black, white, all colors, all backgrounds. What I mean? Come on, man. Men, women, gay, straight. Everyone deserves a shot. You know? Come on, man. You know the thing. You know what I mean? You know the thing. You know what I mean? Come on, man. You have a problem figuring out what you're from me or Trump, and you ain't black. Come on, man. The corn pop was a bad dude, and he ran a bunch of bad boys. I can hardly wait to meet with that guy who is the stable genius. Come on, man. I am uh, very willing to let the public judge my physical and mental fit. My physical as well as my mental fi fitness. <laughs> Come on, man. Poor kids are just as bright and just as talented as white kids. Wealthy kids. Come on, man. I mean, come on. Take a look at the record. I know a lot of weed smoke. Come on, man. Black, white, all colors, all backgrounds. But I mean, come on, man. Men, women, gay, straight, everyone deserves a shot, you know. Come on, man. You know the thing. You know what I mean? You know the thing. You know what I mean? Come on, man. Why the hell would I take a test? I am, uh, I, 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 uh, come on, man. I learned, I learned a lot. And I learned that, uh, I learned a lot. Anyway, uh, 
Bo, uh, Bo is associated here. Anyway, the point I want to make is uh, I learned so much. I learned so much. I learned. Black, white, all colors, all backgrounds. But I mean, come on, man. Men, women, gay, straight, everyone deserves a shot. You know, come on, man. You know the thing. You know what I mean? You know the thing. You know what I mean? Come on, man. What I have to do is I have to continue talking about the things that come on, man. I came down here because I remember the first bumper stick I saw. I learned.